Okay. Okay. All right. That was a beautiful intro, too, and you completely missed it. <sighs> Chat turned on the mute button. I don't know. It's not my fault. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Midweek Madness Oxygen Not Included special. I am extremely pumped up. <laughs> I haven't done that with the mute button in so long. Kind of killed my fire. <laughs> there it goes. Hump day's ruined. I have a couple of little announcements or conversational pieces. First, there seems to be so many people jumping in the chat early, love seeing it, everybody's being so happy to see each other, welcoming, welcoming everybody. It's so awesome. It is absolutely awesome. On that same line, our 50-50 video has broken the personal channel best. It now has over 50,000 views. Over 50,000 views. Absolutely incredible. The, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about my sleep last night, right? Now, hopefully it's not boring enough to put you to sleep, but for those of you who do not know, I have multiple just weird, wrong things in my body, okay? First, I have sleep apnea. Now, I went through the whole thing with the machine. I gave it the good old college try. I just couldn't do it. I just, I feel like Darth Vader going to sleep. It just doesn't work for me. Not going to do it. Um, I did switch to like a wedge system, though. So now I sleep on an uncomfortable wedge, but it's supposed to help a little bit. So we got that going for us. But I also, and I'm the only person I've ever known that has been diagnosed with both insomnia and narcolepsy how do you have somebody with sleep apnea diagnosed with insomnia and narcolepsy now it's not the type of narcolepsy that you just randomly fall asleep right it's not that type of narcolepsy it's actually kind of the reverse um it's a whole thing but it's fun to look up every once in a while to see all the different types of narcolepsy but anyways, so last night, or I guess probably more accurately, earlier this morning, I had one of those inception dreams. Now, I have these more often than I would like. I don't get scared from my bad dreams, right? Like everybody has bad dreams. Um, it seems like I have more bad dreams than I'd love, but the only ones that sort of freak me out are the inception ones. And this one went... I'm guessing for about two hours because I br briefly woke up this morning and then when I went back to sleep, I knew what kind of time it was. And then when I finally woke up and managed to break the cycle of sorts, it was like two hours later. I must have... So for those of you not aware, an Inception type in dream, and I don't know what the real name is. Somebody out there, I'm sure, does. It's like when you are in a dream and you wake up, but you didn't really wake up. You just thought you woke up, but then something happens in the next dream that makes you feel, oh yeah, I'm still sleeping. And that happened longer than it's ever had in my life. I must have woken up and continued dreaming 20 times. It must have been 20 times that I thought I was finally waking up and breaking the cycle. And I'm one of those dudes that I, I know when I'm dreaming until I'm in one of these dreams. And then I'm like, okay, I got to get out of this because it starts freaking you out, right? Like, am I ever going to escape this? And it happened for like 20 different cycles. And it gets to the point where I'm screaming for cocky chick, right? But I'm not actually screaming because I'm dreaming thinking that I'm screaming. It, it's just a whole weird thing. It was, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think it's because I probably had my full night's rest and then went back to sleep. So I was in that weird spot where my body was kind of hovering in between or something. I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, it was definitely one of the most intense of those type of dreams I've ever had. And I just, I wanted to share it. Why? I don't, I don't know. So, um, Wit asks, can I control yourself and wake, wake yourself up? Normally I can. And that's what makes the Inception dream so weird for me is because in those dreams, I can't. I think I'm doing it. And then I end up continuing to dream. I don't know. It was completely weird. I'm getting to this point with Earl Grey tea that I'm almost tasting the oil too much. And it almost has like a chocolate sensation. I don't know what's going on with it, but I might have to try some more teas because I'm not a big chocolate in my drinks sort of guy, but it started, it's like, because I'm drinking it so much more often, maybe I'm really starting to get an affinity for the taste and I'm really tasting the, I'm going to butcher this word, bergamola oil. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's hit that roll call, shall we? It's going to be impossible because I'm sure the chat's already rotated up. Uh, but I'll see what we can do. Oh, man. Happy hump day. Happy midweek madness to the one, the only. You're never going to beat her here, Calero81. Welcome to the queen. Raku. Raku Ayami, I believe. Welcome. Oedipus. Welcome back, Oedipus. Glenn Sullivan is the Bushman. Earning a multiple watch stream sort of uh, echo reward. Cat with yarn. Hello. Agent MCB. Ewish83. Hola, como estas, mi hermano? Max, Kimbaris, Agent MCB. I think I've already said that one. Oh, man. Brian Matt converted his twi uh, Twitch Prime to a tier one sub. Thank you very much, Brian. Wit is in the house. Digi Knight, welcome. Cocky chick. Oh, I just got to all the, you're muted. Oh, it's so painful to look at. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Snipes290, Jelly, welcome back. Carol, hello. Makiro Lavos. Sudzy277. Happy Wednesday. Deep fried peanut butter. Look at all the beautiful people. Yet, yeah, see, when you spell it out, Calera, it doesn't, it doesn't help me. Bergamo, Bergamot? Uh, uh, it's the oil that's inside of Earl Grey. Robo Jumper, hello and welcome. Pronunciation, here we go. Oh, oh, it's for, okay. Riku Aye May. Riku, I think I can remember Riku. Welcome. I'm glad you're able to make it. And I think we're ready. I think we are ready. Let's get to it. If you remember the last time we were in this beautiful colony. You can always tell when I've re been recording, by the way, because the music will be off. We had to start building this place up here. And it's doing okay. It's doing all right. We have our uh, beginning of a power spine. This is our second colony, by the way, if you're just joining us. Um, and we're actually in this colony because we want the metals. 
because our home colony really is hurting for metals. But they are living the good life, eating the frost burgers. Still 337,000 calories of frost burgers. I don't understand it. I'll take it, but, you know. Take it easy, Kay. Thank you for stopping by. Um, everything looks decent here. We got some backup water we're draining out of here as the ice melts. See, this is something I don't like. We're supposed to have enough buffer tanks to be able to drain this so we can get every last drop of water. But as you can see, it's over pressure right now. We are going to have to do something about it. Which is normally for me or buffer tanks. I mean, I like buffer tanks. I, I cannot lie. We'll see if that works. It may still not be enough. But at least we caught it now. We're slowly draining this. We're using the pitcher pump and just having the dupes that are bored. Drop it off right over... Where are we? Right here. Grabbing all that polluted oxygen and turning it into wonderful... Actually, you know what would even be better? Oh my gosh, that's how short we are on metals. We have 299. Copper. Aluminum. We have some cobalt. Do I have any materials left here? We're out of sandstone. We're not using granite for something like this. That looks beautiful. Oh, am I... I don't want to do that. Oh, that's disgusting. I was really running that off of heavy watt wire. Are you kidding me? Huh? Oh. Well. I guess. Don't go over here, dupes. Of course, they're gonna have to go over there. Because they have to go over there to refill them. So yeah, we're gonna fix this too. Uh, let's get a nice power transformer, right? Uh... Oh, this. I mean, it's already horrible. They got to run through this whole spot, but this will at least make it a little better. Oh. Okay, we'll do this. Just like this. And then we can come off of here. Whee! All right, that'll work. It is... The, the power on this colony is not my crown jewel of achievements. It's so horrible. It's so bad. I don't even know what to think about it, right? Like... Ugh. Okay. I think everything else looks good here, though. Oh, how's our natty gas? Oh, looks like we're full up on natty gas. It's all backed up into here. We have these natural gas generators set at 9040. But we're at five kilos worth of pressure, which once again, this is now over pressure. We don't need triage cots on this colony. Let's be honest. Okay. That can come out of here. Goes in there. And this is going to come out of here and go in here. And this doesn't even really need... In fact, we're going to save the materials because... Remember, all of this is not going to be warm. Because we're independently cooling it. So we're going to go out, in. And then out, in. And then we could break it right there. All right. That's not too bad. Um, we're also going to add another one just as soon as... Oh, thank you. Nice job. We're leaving a little space just to put a little, uh, a little decor. Here we go. 
So we're not even going to be doing this. This one's now going to come out. Go in. Up. Uh-oh. What did I do wrong? Nope, that looks good. All right. This is still going very well, and this is the reason why we have so much power um, and those natural gas generators aren't having to run. And what's crazy is this magma is still super hot. And I think the reason why is because it pulls the heat so slowly through this obsidian. This is beautiful. Once it gets warmer, or I guess cooler, and it starts solidifying some of this magma, we will then push this all the way out and try to work another system in. Wit is wondering about the, the cooling for the natty gas. It's right here. We have just a standard setup. We're also using that to cool the, uh, the fertilizer and everything. The dirt, the fertilizer. It's a very nice system. I'd love to tap into these. I'm just not sure how we're going to do it yet. Carol gifting a tier one sub to Wit. Thank you, Carol. Thank you very much. One good turn deserves another, huh? Uh, yep. Just let's go ahead and get rid of these fellas every once in a while. Just to keep all the frames where they need to be. Oxygen still looking amazing. Ten full buffer tanks. Bubba Fettel, welcome back. All right, let's go over to our new colony. Not that dumpster fire, this one. This is where our improvements are going to come from. I think we were planning on putting a refrigerator in here, weren't we? And I know there was some work we needed to do. What is going on with this? Oh, okay. This is us recycling our bathroom water. So any extra bathroom water. After this tank is full, which is going to be a very long time. Because there's only four tubes. We'll then go to our oxygen system. <laughs> yes. There's different dumpster fires. I think this was supposed to be set to polluted dirt and we'll add the rot pile i think it's because we're creating more food than we're eating of course we're down to ten thousand calories what's up with that we have four dupes here which means we need 20 meal lice there is 15 domesticated and then there's another five maybe we're just hovering Um, all right. Yeah, we're going to go times two speed. I want to get a lot accomplished in here. Get them up to speed. Uh, I think one's going to be fine, to be honest. And that line looks like it has plenty of availability on it. Only sitting at 560 potential load. So yeah, we have plenty for the refrigerator. Magic storage. There's no such thing as magic storage. Um, and then we have one just running our oxygen system. And this system works well because the hydrogen fires. Oh, we're going to need another, an overflow. Oh, no, we tied this into automation, right? This was such a great system. Whenever this tank gets too full, it turns this hydrogen generator on. But right now, this hydrogen generator is running the complete colony, it, which means... It looks like this system with one hydrogen generator is self-sustaining. But it's also running some other stuff around the colony, which is great. But if we ever need a backup, we have this wheel set on 30. So that will be good. Let's bring all the edibles in here. I think that'll be good. Uh, sweep up that rock. I think our suits deserve jets. Our dupes deserve jet suits so that's actually funny you say that one of the earlier um series i did while on youtube we did jet suits 
It was a pain in the butt. But we did jet suits. The problem is you need the, uh, I think it's petroleum. And it is awfully convenient in your space biomes. Um, because then you don't have to build any of these ladders because they can fly around to wherever they want. The issue comes is they have to drop, for instance, in a situation like this where they get into suits. You have to have them hang up their suit and then put on a jet suit. What? No. No. We're not doing cold damage. I guess there is some atmosphere here. Where's that oxygen coming from? I guess when this door opens? But it's got four tiles before it even hits any of the the background atmosphere. I'm watching the milligrams. Y you see it? It's like we're creating oxygen somewhere in here. Do you see how it keeps flipping back? We're in micrograms, micrograms. We're getting lower. Getting lower. And there it goes. So it must be when they open the door. So much comes out that it fills it up. That's got to be it. But for four tiles? Before it even hits a background? Hmm. Okay. Um, did we've... Oh, Wit's still in space. Still going at it. We're down to 445 kilos of data banks, though. 77,000 cal calories of berry sludge and... Still 13 tons of algae. Doing great. A second airlock door. I don't know if that would help. Because when the dupe opens this one, the oxygen flood rushes in. This door opens when the dupes try to go and all that oxygen would still push out and over. In fact, it would only give it more of a backdrop because when air is inside the, the airlock, it can't vent out because the airlock itself is a background. Maybe, I guess you could go earlier that's probably what Zoldan was talking about. Maybe a power door. So it opens and closes quicker. I, I like that idea. I, I like that idea a lot. But you can see for some reason there's... Oh my goodness. There's 3,000 kilos worth of oxygen. That shouldn't be happening. I guess it's because we have a high pressure gas vent here instead of. We're going to have to go down there and we'll see about making that a little bit more efficient. That's why so much oxygen is bursting out. Do we even have power up here? A little bit. Yes. Uh, Manual air. Mechanized airlock. Cobalt. We'll go right here. Oh my gosh, there's 4,400, five kilos. No, this is something else. I guess not, because with the lower you get, now I'm wondering if there was a vent sitting over some carbon dioxide something that is causing it to do that. Because that's not a lot of oxygen. Of course, I guess the dupes aren't breathing it either. Hmm. It's got to be being caused by it. But now I'm wondering where the other vents are. There is a vent that goes up here, but we blocked it. Uh, 
Um... No? That's a lot. I mean, it's fine. The dupes are in suits, so it doesn't really matter. And, but so we do have like this vent here. But I specifically did not build it down here. Because if you build a regular vent, um, say like right here, whenever carbon dioxide comes across this, it'll see the carbon dioxide and then push more oxygen out. So that's how you can get yourself into pro um, problems with overpressurizing there. All right, this is good though. At least it gives more space for the oxygen to flow to. Now let's go see if we can clean up this system. Where is it pulling? This is our our junk gases. And I already think this is as optimized as it can get, to be honest. Right here and here. I mean, it's all the way up here. It's only blasting when there's carbon dioxide all the way up here. I don't think it's a big thing to worry about, but something definitely to keep an eye on. What is going on here? Well, that's not the way the system's supposed to work. The carbon dioxide is supposed to force itself out. And when it does... Okay. It, it, that works. Just as long as we leave carbon dioxide in these three tiles. Prevents the hydrogen from going anywhere else. And what is this little mess here? Who made a mess? All right, that should quickly fix itself. Of course, not that it matters it's carbon dioxide. For the simple reason that, uh... Uh-oh. What in the world? Oh, no, it's Grignac. Oh, no. This is my nightmare! What were you- what are you guys going down here to get? Oh, you're building this from the wrong side again. See, this is the problem with duplicates. At least that means they were bored. Uh, we do need to open this up a little bit here and probably here. Okay. Uh, we need suits. We, I do remember we were gonna. We said we were gonna do some suits. Send the non CO2 out to space. We send the CO2 out to space. Well, basically anything that's not oxygen, we send out. Is the only access through the bathroom? Yes. What we should do is somehow put a door so they don't come this way, but they'll figure it out once. As soon as this thing is finished, they'll come down through here, which is going to be much easier for them to get through. But like Rob Roy here, like where were you planning on going, dude? And now they're going to keep going back and forth. Even though this has a priority of six. One of these dupes is going to get themselves killed. Cat with yarn said the volcano is about to erupt, so I'm guessing they saw it kind of jiggle. It is only 50 degrees here, so I, we got some more temperature to go through. I think we're okay there. Um, and then we'll also do some of that. Nope. You're going home. You are going home. All the way over here. Oh, we have a printing pod. I don't think you want it to be taking dupes unless I'm forced to. Um, which, by the way, there's a new redeem. You can force me to take a dupe, which will eventually cause some problems. Oh, that it was able to erupt. Okay, yeah. 
that's why we actually dumped all that water onto it to absorb all the heat until we were able to fix it for real, which we have to do. Um, which we're going to need. We won't need steel. Yeah. Actually, is that aluminum? No, we just need a couple of uh, steam turbines over the top of it and then a little bit of steel to get the aluminum out. It'll be at 125 degrees and we'll need a nice thermo aqua tuner to eventually have a chiller, which we need. Okay, who's the... Brignac again. Why wouldn't you come over here? Go work down here. Is this going to be a glitchless run? I do not know what you mean by glitchless. If you're talking about the little problems that are in the sim, then definitely not. We've already started seeing them. For instance, for some reason... I think it's in this screen. Maybe it was in vitals. It's not doing it yet, but they the pictures start flashing weird. It's a very weird one. I've not seen that bug before. And they just dropped the pickled meal. This is looking okay. Uh, we should still have our nice, beautiful nature reserve. The showers are ready, but I haven't seen anybody taking a shower. The person who forces get to name or do they then have to redeem an in-game name? No, if you spend the 20k for a forced dupe, it's auto it it's yours to name. Which normally I'm just gonna default to whoever did it. But I understand there might be some differences, like if they want to be named Chef Audibus, you know. Um Exploitive, intentional ones, no. I typically do not play that way. Um, Where are you going? Where are you going, Max? No. No, Max. All right. Some of these dupes need something else to do. Um, I think we're going to try to put some suits here. This seems like a good spot. So why don't we just do this? Can they still get out over there? Not through here. Not through there. Yep, now they just can't go over there. That works. I don't think there's a secret way. <laughs> I'm looking. Now, Grignac. Oh, that's my fault. I should have let you come back in. There you go. This should be the last time, though. No, come over here. All right. So, priorities today. Get through this. Seal this off. That way we can kind of protect our bees. Bees! Tame the aluminum volcano. Get some suits going. And continue to improve this colony. We also need to start thinking about food. I do not know what we're going to do about that food yet. I think this... I think it's probably about time to move those planter boxes too. Uh, here looks decent, right? We'll let some of that oxygen go. There we go. Just some... Just some oxyferns for funsies. Still getting through the research. We have a lot of data banks from Wit's last drop off. Nope, don't do that. Albeit, the progress is slow. Oh no, we were trying to rush towards here to get the monuments. That spot might get flooded once the ladder is completed. It's a fair point. Where are you? Wrong dumpster fire again. No, it shouldn't. Bloop. 
All right, now that should make them happy. If it makes you... Nope, we're not going to sing. Do not sing Echo. Uh... I guess we should just copy this. And that way, when they do finally get the seeds dug up, they'll do that. Look at all the metal here, though. The gold amalgam. All right, we need to do... How much steel do we have? Because we're going to need an aqua tuner. Oh, uh, we have zero steel here. So maybe we need to get the crushed satellite online. Interplanetary launchers. Do we have any? We don't even have interplanetary launchers here. Okay. We have a big list. Big list. If you redeem to force a new dupe, do you get to pick which one? That's a good question. The issue with it is going to be the delay. For, so the great thing about when people redeem things is I can get to it whenever I get to it. But it's dangerous to have somebody redeem it. And then we're in the printing pod and I'm like, Hey, uh, fangirl, which dupe do you want? And you just happen to went to the bathroom or you're eating dinner or you're lurking by that time. So then all of a sudden the stream sort of comes to a halt. Well, as we're waiting for, um, involvement. I kind of like the idea though. Why are you going in here? There is nothing in here. Why are you? That's not a place to be going potty. I like the idea. So maybe when people redeem it, maybe give me some specifications. Like I would prefer this or this or that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sudsy's got it right. Base full of flatulence on the way. All right. So we need to get an interplanetary launcher system over here, but we have no sources of radiation. We have our little wheeze wards here. Are we going to have to get a little mini rad going system? Do we have phosphorite? We do have some phosphorite. See how these they're starving because the meal woods aren't growing fast enough. Not all of them are starving, but it is hurting our Dreco growth which is then hurting our phosphorite. I was thinking about this because doing the tutorial and we said three mealwoods per four Drecos. So that'd be six, uh, six domesticated mealwoods. Well, if you need six domesticated mealwoods and domesticated are four times better, you'd actually need 24 wild mealwoods to support a ranch. <laughs> Glenn Sullivan. Gee, Echo, where can I learn about getting phosphorite from Drecos? As a matter of fact, Glenn, over on Echo Ridge Gaming on YouTube, we had a video just today. Let's see how many Weezworts we have. We might be able to build a little Weezwort reactor. Uh, wart seeds, maybe? We have seven. We have seven total. Not shabby. Are there only any over on our pantry? I don't... Don't know. Wart. Oh, it won't tell us. There is some here, though. Oh, boo. Where's Bert? Come here, Bert. Bert. Need a flavor. Need a flavor. I understand that you like that idea, Wit, but we just explained why it's hard to do. Oh, all right. Bert 
is here. There's a thousand calories, so we have a cycle. Uh, we want all the wart seeds. Let's see how many we can find. Wart seeds, please. Wart. One. That means they're all, the rest of them are locked up. Uh, they can get down here. That must be the one wart seed. If we can get down here, jump down here, we can probably go through here. There's another wart seed. You're already eating? Someone say Texas? Oh, look at all of them in here. All completely blocked off by the abyssalite. So we're going to have to break into the abyssalite. Did I just say abyssalite? Apparently I did. Abyssalite. All right, so we're going to go through here, I guess. We can make it up through here, over, and then we'll go straight across. That seems like a small enough incision. We'll put a nice little manual airlock here. And then we can start digging down. If you are redeeming 20k, can't you just have it have a message attached? If someone wants to specify something specific, they can. Yes. So that's what I was saying with the... That is definitely an option. The issue is not everybody does it. And then all of a sudden, the streamer's going like, Hey, Bob. Bob, you said this. But we don't have any of them. Can you can you help me out? So if we jump down here, if we could then... Yeah, this will work. Oh, yes. Getting all the wart seeds. That's two messes made. What it... Oh... This was Mutt. Mutt made a mess. How do I not see these things? How does chat see them before I do? And what is wrong with our bathrooms? Um. Are we out of sand? No, we have 217. Awaiting filtration medium? They're supposed to be laying their own filtration medium. Hmm. No, it's not the bridge. It's just there's no sand. Because I locked these because the poke shells are in here looking angry. But they're supposed to be dropping off enough sand. You drop 200 grams of polluted dirt. They then take that polluted dirt. Hmm. Hmm. Remember we did this math and it came out to where it was enough sand? I know it's not 100%, but it's supposed to be enough. Well, our theory was that it was enough. All right, where do we have sand production? Oh, you can't pee in the shower? While we're here, we might as well do some nice interior decorating. We'll fix the serious problem. I promise. Now does this... It's still at 5 kilos. We aren't using enough. All these are 100% full, and this thing is at 5 kilos. We're going to be using more power, though, once we get this little mini rad system on. But we don't have sustainable sand production, do we? Because I was just thinking about shipping it in. But I don't think we have... Hmm. All right, let's think of some ideas. We do. We do have salt water. So that means we have sand. Where is our rock crusher with our... 23 tons of sand. 
Oh, this is that's right. Remember, we were considering setting up a shipping system, but then we we're like, uh, we don't have enough metal for a shipping system. Because I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, let's take out this and we'll take out this. For now, we will unlock the doors. There's no egg in here. I, I agree. We're going to have to uh, set the system up. I'm very disappointed in you, poke shells. In fact, let's move them. Since we're not playing poke shell games, let's move them. Hmm. I think we said this area here, right? But it's not going to be a... I mean, all we're going to do is have a critter drop off. Excuse me, Puff. Thank you. All right, water is getting processed again. Potties are back online. Potties are back online. So if I throw in 10 kilos of sand, the pokes will make 2.5 kilos back after it being used. Those 2.5 possibly being enough for the filter. But if you don't bring in fresh sand every now and then, the value will get so small that it'll just poof vaporize. Diminishing returns. The math's supposed to be good. Because it doesn't... The sieve doesn't actually use a lot. But we're going to redo this anyways. Uh, let's bring it in. Actually, we don't even need to do that. We can do it right here. So we don't need this. Since our poke shells will not be there. And then we're going to go grab all the poke shells. Pokey shells. Yeah. And then we'll come and wrangle all these guys. Especially while they're not mad. Oh, this is going to be so expensive. This is going to be... This is... Ooh, a beach chair. Interplanetary launchers. We got to remember interplanetary launchers, too. We're already starting to get squirreled. It's way too early to get squirreled. And I really don't want to send the shipping system all the way around. Can we piggyback on a shipping system like this one? What is on this one? It's coming over here, over here. Food. So we can have a filter that says, hey, if you're sand, go this way. That would make it closer. And what is this obnoxious system here? Oh, it's because we need the 50-50 split for the pinch of pepper nuts. That they're still not using fast enough. There's 20 kilos worth of polluted dirt there. Luckily, they're overpressured. All right, here's what we're going to do. Here is what we're going to do. We're going to use a solid filter, okay? We're going to put this bad boy right here. And we're going to bring it down, pass it along, something like this. And here is where it's going to be rough. We have 21 tons of cop cobalt. This was our, like, last ditch. We don't have much of this stuff. Bridge, bridge. Right here. Did we just make that out of iron? I just... I literally just selected the cobalt! How do we do that? Sometimes, Echo. Sometimes! Solid filter. Cobalt. Conveyor rail. Cobalt. I know, I know what I did. I did one of these numbers. I selected a piece of iron. 
Cobalt. Thank you. In. And then right up through here. Into a conveyor receptacle for the win. Winning! All right, now we just got to get it onto that line. This is a little bit more reasonable. It's a little bit more reasonable. Oh, we're going to have to cool that sand. <laughs> oh, that sand is so hot. Okay. Okay. Having a breakdown, I see. I have no idea what you're talking about. I just need to sit back, enjoy some tea. It's like the commercial. Oh, I can't wait. No, it was an episode of... I've never seen this show, but I think it was uh, E-Wish that showed it. Of the dad, he was going to fix a light bulb. And he ends up 10 systems later trying to fix all the things just to go get a light bulb or something. Yeah, we're going to put a debris chiller right here, right? And we're going to integrate this debris chiller with the minor volcano. Eventually. Do we have the materials for this? No. Are we going to do it anyways? Yes. All right. So let's at least get this system started. So... No, we need a smart storage bin right here that is going to tell this thing when to turn on and when to turn off. Sends a green signal when full. So we want the not gate. That way, when it is full, it turns it off. Like this. Beautiful. Of course, what else are we doing in here? So this is where you kind of want a second rock crusher. Because I don't want to stop lime production and everything. We got to get rid of Aki's beautiful statues. I mean, there's nothing we can do. Of course, this place is supposed to be saved for molecular forge. Did we build the molecular forge yet? No. Nope. Hmm. I guess the molecular forge can go up here. Okay. I think. Yeah, this will be our just our sand one. And it can load up all the salt it wants. What do we have? Ooh. Or we could have another bin. That when it has something in it. Such as eggshells. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. This is... Mm-hmm. Yep, this is gonna be good. Uh, can this one reach over here? Because we need one. Yes, it can. That one can almost reach both. Can this one reach both if it was over another one? Or is that blocked? I think that's blocked. So yeah, we'll just put in one right over here. <laughs> oh, I couldn't hit the mute in time. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Chad. Why am I always sneezing? Just another one of those things. Thank you, Calero. He's going to make this way more complicated than it needs to be. Isn't he? Yes. Yes, I am. But it's going to be a beautiful system. Because we need the system to turn on. Whenever it has sand that it needs, or, or, 
when it has any eggshells or anything else. So instead of having two rock crushers, oh, I didn't need to destroy her statues. Oh, sad potatoes. Let's go get those back. Squirrel. There we go. Yeah, but I like putting the rock crusher in the industrial sauna because it does produce heat. But you're going to like this system. I promise. You're going to love it. All right, so this is our sand. Sand, 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 sand. Sand. We'll say... I mean, there's already 23 tons there, so we'll just say 20 tons. But this thing also does salt, a table salt. Fossil to lime, eggshell to lime, poke shell molds to lime. And... Yeah. So this one is going to have any eggshells. Miscellaneous. Do we put the salt directly in here? So whenever there is salt, it gets grinded. All right, Chad, I see what you're talking about. I see what you're talking about. How about just have them grind all the salt anyways? And not, and just not disable. Maybe that's the solution. Just have it do all the things. And that way you don't even have to worry about it. Salt. Uh, miscellaneous poke shell melts, right? Nope. Uh, industrial ingredient. Uh, we're not using the salt for anything. We're just grinding it up to make sand. So that's actually, that works out better for us. And I need to move this now. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Because I need to put a receptacle here. Sweep up this cobalt. All right. So how did we get... Why did we need... Oh, yeah, we need sand for this place. This is good. We needed to do this, all right? And it's going to take us... It's going to distract us from what we should be doing. But we can get multiple projects going. And luckily, our... Oh, Bert's, Bert should be done. Bert, did you finish? Bert, you didn't finish, man. You didn't finish. I guess it's going to have to be good enough. No, no, Bert, Bert, we, Bert. I guess Bert had to go potty. Bert. Bert. Well, I'm glad you washed your hands. Good job. Uh, teleport. All right. Now. Uh, that's already created because we have an awesome tube crew over on this colony. But now we need a rail conveyor loader to go right here. Uh, steel. Yes. Here we go. It's going to go 16 tons. Oh, this is going to be expensive. Up, up, up. Um, yep, this works. This is going to heat this area up if we don't get it into a debris chiller quicker than this. All right, so we'll just have it stop here. So maybe the debris chiller is going to be here. Because we already have thermal aqua tuners here.
Do we put in another thermal aqua tuner that runs it separately? I think we do. The question is, where do we put it? I guess right beside this one. Goodbye, mermaid. Oh, we have resculpt. Yes. And then we... Uh, what a mess. I guess we flip over this system to use this one. How we're going to do that? Not quite sure. We're going to get it figured out though, chat. Okay? So this line needs to come out from over here now. Like this. And then this statue's got to go away. Because I can't combine them because the debris chiller. Or can I? I mean, the debris chiller doesn't have to be that chill. Yeah, let's do that. I keep destroying the statues and then just putting them back. Like, that's not how you do. And it's conveniently located. And we already have the steam turbine and thermal aqua tuner. So all we need is more materials. <laughs> uh, igneous rock works. And then maybe something like this. All right, this isn't a bad idea. I dare say this is a good idea. Will dupes ever have to get up over here? If they do, they can come up through here, right? May want a liquid tank after the tuner to average the temperature down. That's a good idea. Kazarak says, do you want all that heat going through the liquid lock? No. It's, I don't think it's going to now, though. When we move it, it's going to go through the vacuum. I don't care about the naphtha one because it's already hot enough here. So it's going to be the same temperature as the sand. Uh, like this. All right, now what do we have? We don't have a lot. Maybe we do one of the polluted water ones. Because we do have plenty of polluted water. That's what we'll do. Winning! Of course, Riku. Hope the kids had a great day at school. <laughs> do they like oxygen not included? Uh, we'll go up through here. We can... It's going to be a lot of polluted water. Lego Dom and Jaxasaurus. Hello and welcome. I hope you had a great day at school. All right, this is good. We're going to fill all this up with polluted water. And we are going to make a gigantic mess. Except I want it to be right here. Because, you know, the feels. Beautiful. Oh, this system's going to be nice. And we get to prove our polluted water theory, too. So good. Now... Because there is polluted water in here, so it's going to come up through... Uh, comes all the way up through here first. Uh, that's not... That's not opportune. We have cobalt. We have iron. We have gold. Uh, 
We don't have a lot of any of it. Let's go ahead and check. Cobalt versus... I think Cobalt pretty good. Cobalt has the thermal conductivity of 200 and a specific heat capacity of 0.42. And then we have a thermal conductivity of 120 and a specific heat capacity of 0.129. Cobalt is the clear winner. So I think we're just going to do one loop in case we want to pass any liquids through it and also to save us metals. So it's going to come out through here and go in. Uh, I don't like going straight up against. Yeah, I, I, that is what we're going to do. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm thinking and talking and it's just, it's not working out great. All the way back around. And then we'll throw it back into normal pipes here. And then the insulated pipes here. And this bridge will be able to be destroyed. Who's starving? Really? Who's starving? The aluminum from the planet with the volcano would be really useful here. Yes, Gazerak. Yes. Uh. All right. This is going to be hot. Oh, this is going to be so hot. Now, we are going to make a dumpster fire worth of a mess initially. So we're going to put a couple deodorizers here just to contain some of that heat. Uh, I guess we're going to do it the ugly way again. Because we're not going to need... Oh, we are going to need power in here. So we might as well get a line. Oh, 2280. That's too buku. What about in here? This one's at 600. This one's at 660. All right. Yeah, this one's got to come out. And right like this. Oh, we do have some lead. This is a great use of lead. I don't know where we're going to need it yet. But probably over here. So we'll just do some of this action. Beautiful. There's no chaos going on. None at all. I mean, we have idle dupes. We have new principles. Look at this free copper ore. We're getting it. We're just... It's not chaotic. It's just we have to work on a bunch of things at once. Uh, this needs to be destroyed. Doo -doo -doo. Can they get to that? Yes, through here. All right. We're going to chill down the sand. We're going to get the bathrooms going. Then we're going to set up some beautiful wheeze wart systems. How many wheeze warts do we have now? Now we have 12. Okay. Now we've, we're at the money spot. Hmm. Let's give the dupes more things to do so I get sidetracked. All of this. This seems to be good here. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. Because you'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. This is a little canyon here. And then we're going to shoot rad bolts up from underneath. To some interplanetary launchers. Uh, how are we going to do this now? I guess we have to do something like this. We don't need a lot of interplanetary launchers. We just need some. Okay. 
And I don't want the rad bolts to be everywhere because you know the problems that those create. And I guess we'll have to fill this in because we're going to need to put some petroleum or something else down there. Ah, uh, no. We now have a spot where we can vent all that stuff coming out of here. We can vent in here, which will keep an atmosphere-ish in here. Uh... Hmm. If it comes out over there, how am I going to get it past all this crap, though? Ugh. So if this is full, I only want the overflow. So I guess we'll have to have two runs. Canyon or pit of despair. Uh, yeah, this is fine. So we can have these gas pipes just following it straight up. Like that. And then we can have it jumping down. Like this. No, no, no. Not disinfect. Build. Uh, and just release it right here. Beautiful system here. Beautiful. I think I'm happy with this. And then we're going to have an interplanetary rocket. Do we... Do we have not... We don't have interplanetary... Oh, it's under radiation. We don't have interplanetary rockets yet. And it you know what I'm trying to say, chat. They're right here. It's okay. We're also going to need phosphorite all the way up there. Ugh. Oh, I can't ship it. Oh, I can't ship it. Oh. Oh, we got to ship it. Oh. Oh, this is so horrible. Make the bad man stop. Mm. Probably right here. We have 644 kilos left. We need more cobalt. That's right, Riku. Um, it also... Twitch loyalty points don't work on game consoles either. If only Twitch was owned by a multi-billion dollar corporation and had the resources necessary to put somebody, uh, to figure that out. One can only hope. Uh, this probably needs to be one over. Like this. There we go. Because then we can have a handy dandy auto sweeper. Right there. And now all we need is some planter boxes. Um I mean that seems to be plenty to me. But where are we gonna get the raw? We're gonna have to dig down in here. Because we need one rad bolt generator right here. Is that an acceptable use? No, it's not. That is not an acceptable use. Failure to design is not an acceptable use. 
So what we will do is we'll just keep going up a little bit further. And they've already built all these drywalls too. What a pain in the tuchus. All right, so we're going to go here. No. Everybody's like, what are you doing, Echo? Like, what is wrong with you? There's a lot. We've discussed this. But now I need tiles here. And then I need tiles here. Boop, boop. I guess... That doesn't really matter, but we're going to get everything out of there anyways. No. Yeah, because I can just put a tile there. Now, are you starting to pick up what I'm stepping in? Huh? Uh, can the conveyor receptacle be in the way? I don't think it can. I do not believe it can. Now, the limitation of this little V is the length of the auto sweeper. Because it needs to be down here. Just to be able to hit those bottom planter boxes. We talking about thin mints? Chat's talking about thin mints? And you're not going to share? <laughs> oh. Don't threaten me. Alright, now we can bring sort of this system over like this. I don't know where those bolts are going to go through yet. We'll probably need some little different system here. Like that. All right. It's starting to come together. Well, that looks ugly. Let's fill that in, shall we? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's go work on this a little bit. What? What is happening here? Oh, there's not enough. Okay. I was like, that doesn't sound like a good noise. That bridge needs to be deconstructed. And then we're going to need to load up some more, but that's going to be as easy as this now. And then we'll put one bottle emptier here. In fact, watch this. Just absolute brilliance. Uh... Where's my liquids? Liquids. Liquids. Thank you. Li Stop. Let me click. Woo. All right. Now we're doing it. We're doing it. I. Uh, where's the rest of that water? Okay. They're going to have to get this water and then other. So we will turn these off of enable auto bottle. And now we need a place with the pitcher pump. I guess this is as good as any. And we'll put a higher priority on the other pitcher pump. So they should draw from that area first. That's the idea or the thinking, right? Hello, why can't you let me build? Oh, that's still in the way, is it? All right, beautiful. Now this pump, oh, I guess you can't prioritize it like that. They might be able to get to this one because it's closer, but we'll see. We'll have to see. Liquid, polluted water. Let's go priority six. Like, I want it all, okay? Chat has spoken. It is going to be in the way. Now I don't know what's going to be in the way. Sometimes I just, I miss out on things and I need more tea. It's tea time. Tea, please. 
Would it be too disrespectful to have one of those bells? Like a little ding, 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 ding. So Cocky Chick knows that I need some tea. Uh, it seems like it'd be a little disrespectful, but I mean, those systems are real. Geek said definitely. <laughs> oh, Galero said that would tick me off. <laughs> oh. It'd be for the lulls. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Geek said they would help plan my murder. This has gotten dark. Um, why aren't we dropping off any polluted water yet, folks? Like, what's going on here? Oh, I gotta enable auto bottle. There are limits. Don't poke the bear. <laughs> Whiskey says only if you want arsenic flavored tea. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. So the reason why we're doing it this way is we're going to both fill the, the loop and the loop is going to slowly dump off into here because this is going to take a while, right? to fill all this. So that's why it's also good to have other projects on the burner. All right, now we're back up here into this system that I guess they're still taking a month of Sundays. Uh, I guess we can get rid of those. Yeah, it's the rail lines that take so long. But... We can now map out the way and how we're going to have those rails come in. Now, this takes me a second because I am not the brightest bulb in the pack. So it's going to come up through here, right? So let's say here. The reason why we did that is because we want all this to be insulated. I guess if this whole area is cold, it's not going to matter, right? Ish. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It's just running quickly through there. I don't like it. We got to do something different. Um. Yeah, what we can do is this. Just a couple like that. And then join it up there. That'll work. And since we're in here, we need to get rid of this pipe here before we lose access to it. That way it keeps it a little bit cooler and we'll bring the rail right straight through it. Made out of iron. Because we broke. Chat has depths of darkness that have yet to be seen. <laughs> All because of a cute little bell? Ding, 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 ding. I mean, it's, it's just a signal. It's just a signal. It's the same thing as a text message. Somehow we've interpreted it to not be the case, but it is the case. I do text and ask politely, but what if we said, okay, whenever I ring the bell once, ding, ding, it's, it, what it means is, may I have tea, please, my beautiful wife. Okay, and if I ring the bell twice, it says, pretty please, right? It doesn't need to imply anything else but our instructions. It's a signal. See? Crunchy Storm says it. It's like the bat signal. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're definitely not getting the bell, guys. <laughs> okay, that's not happening. <laughs> Oh. Oh man. 
But what if we did Morse code out of the bell? Ding, 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 ding. All right, so this rail is going to come up through here. Now, this is where it always gets a little bonkery, okay? Because this bridge system, you have to have the bridge put everything on, say, like, right here, okay? But if the rail is full, it won't be able to go on. So if we go like this, like this, Actually, this actually costs so expensive. Now, the question is, where do I put the dump off? Mm. And now we need the test. Here. Conveyor shut off. Right? Conveyor shut off. Uh, nope. It's got to go the other way. Because I want to do it this way here. Yeah. If it's whatever it is, it goes across. If not, it's going to go through. And there's our system. Now, how come the T signal... Like, the bat signal is not disrespectful. Um. Right. Oh, we need one of these. Uh, conveyor rail thermo sensor. We need some automation. There are historical connotations to ringing the bell. I think you're right. I think you are right. Um, okay. Coming across, going across there. And then if otherwise it goes around and around and around. This is per. This I think is working 100% right now. Of course, when we test it and it breaks, we'll know. But, and that's going to go over here. Man, this is going to take forever. Come on, dupes. And this is all overpressured at 2600, so we don't even need these. So I guess we can add more. There we go. So we can add more of these bottle and tears. I hope everybody knows in chat that I've only been kidding about the bell. <laughs> the bat signal is only used because Batman needs to stay anonymous. They can't text him. That's true. Pick in Discord if he listens when I ring this bell. Uh oh. Pick in Discord. I'm scared. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> she has a bell? <laughs> so great. I'll show everybody the Discord real quick. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Uh, desktop 2? Maybe? See the Discord bell? <laughs> oh. Jelly says her bell is better. See now, what about the historical connotation? She gets a butler's bell. <laughs> All right, this is working faster with three of them now. Uh, oh, we need to get in here. That, I guess we could just do this. Come down. And get... Oh, this is horrible. Okay, but that works. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh man you guys are mean all right so this i think is good and then we're gonna bring out all of that material which we're not gonna have anything selected yet and it's just gonna connect oh i don't like see this is why you do things right the first time Thank you. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Got my tea. <laughs> this is why you do things right the first time. Because we don't... Now that we're going to have a steady supply of sand coming across this rail, we don't want it to be chocked full. Which means we need to move this rail. Because... These conveyor loaders will never be able to get the stuff off. I guess that sand is going to be moving. Just not very often. <sighs> because that line's going to get full is the what I'm worried about. Which makes me want to run in a whole nother line. Because otherwise the lettuce is never going to get there. Unless we just dumped the sand up here. Where else do we need sand? Do we need sand anywhere else in this colony? Deodorizers. Alright, why don't we do that? We're just going to dump the sand here. I've got a tickle. She's poisoned the tea. And now we need to get rid of our polluted dirt because our polluted dirt system is no longer active. Hmm. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. No, they'll be able to reach it. Well, we're going to leave the polluted dirt. We're not going to mess with it for now. There's pee on the carpet. Oh, dupes. Actually, no, we're going to drop that food here. We haven't built a mini pod over here? Oh. I guess Lucille gets it. Of course, they can't get to it, but it stays good up there anyways. Um, there's, How are they still working on this? That doesn't make sense to me. And we have three idle dupes. What am I missing? Are we out of igneous rock? They can't get past the door in the bathroom? No, they can. They come down here. Come over here. They jump down. We have igneous rock. Following the path. Maybe it's just taking them a little while. I, I, I'm i kind of confused. We had granite. Maybe it was granite. Okay. Um, Back over on Hilcebo. First time chatter. Burn. Skill required. For what? There was nothing. Uh, I don't think there was anything they were chopping out. Please wait. Saving. It looked like a light behind that ladder. Oh, I hope not. It's granite. Yep. It's only a one dig. 
And we have... I know we have somebody with one dig. Right? Yeah. Zoldan Orlamu. Oh, but he can't... We ran into this problem before. We've ran into this problem before. Because... Yes, it was a dig command, but it was tied behind a construction command. And Zoldan can't do construction. Good call, Burn. Welcome to the channel, by the way. That's exactly what it was. So we'll let them dig it out first, and then they'll be able to get to it. That is so weird. Okay. Back on... Here. Man, this is going to take... This is why the metal tiles... If the metal tiles are a winner, this is the reason why. Because this takes a month of Sundays. All right, those are getting picked up. All of that. Oh, did we finish our interplanetary launchers? Yes, we did. Like a boss. Now let's go back to our monuments and go up here. I thought I ordered another run because we need another run to keep the interplanetary launcher cool. Yes. Look at it in all of its glory. And of course the ladders are in the way. If it's not one thing, it's definitely going to be another. Igneous rock is fine. And then we have to slowly destroy all these. What a mess. But, oh, look at our phosphorites come in. Mm. So now we can start doing some of this action. in the way it's in the way there we go what was the prediction i didn't even get to see the i'm the streamer and i didn't even what was the prediction will the conveyor receptacle be in the way oh <laughs> Oh. oh, that's a good one. <laughs> the conveyor receptacle is definitely in the way. All right, so that is getting fixed. Um, There should be a steady supply. Not steady, but enough of carbon dioxide coming through here to keep this cold. Not to mention, it, well, you actually need the carbon dioxide for the environment. Because the wheeze works keep everything cold, but if there's nothing here, there's nothing here. You know what I mean? So this works here. That one needs to be deconstructed. And then we can finally... Oh, we can actually destroy all these because there's ladders there. Right? Yeah, this is fine. Brilliant. Let's see how hot this tea is. I was the only one who voted. You said 50, though. It was 210 bet. Now, three people voted. But no one said no. The way predictions work is a mod or myself can start a prediction with it answers. And using your Echo loyalty points, which you earn loyalty points for watching the stream, you are you basically you're gambling them. You win um, the people who said like if you, it's a yes no, you said no. All those people who said yes, their Echo loyalty points are spread throughout the. The no category. I don't necessarily consider it like gambling for the specific reason is like it's an intelligent guess. It's not just a, you know, 
a get uh, like a a random guess. All right, we can get rid of all these because we don't have enough errands. So let's make sure the dupes fall behind. All right, this is looking beautiful. Now that interplanetary launcher should be able to go down right here. Now, right now we have 1,500 rads per cycle right here. It'd be great. Oh, we could also... Maybe we put another one here. Because uh, I don't necessarily want to pay the power cost all the time. More wheeze warts and more phosphorite. You can make this twice as wide and fit more. But this works. We'll actually do it this way so it's closer. There is our rad bolt generator. And now we need a reflector, say, here. Beautiful. And then we're going to put a conveyor loader somewhere else because you don't want the dupes coming over here. Uh, where are we going to put this conveyor loader? It would make sense to put it in somewhere area over here because it's going to be nice and chilled. Yeah, this is fine. Because then we can just go up and over. Conveyor bridge. And in. Ah! Now where are we going to get the power? Tile in the way this time. No. There's no tile in the way of anywhere. There's no tile. I think. So this is good here. It's a small little system, but it works. I don't see a tile in the way of anything. It's gonna come across here and then shoot across over here. Bloop, bloop. I guess we're gonna find out. All right, so we'll figure out what we want loaded up later. But now we need some power. We have some here. Oh, and it's actually not even that. Oh, this is. We don't have the metal for this. We're using lead. Five hundred kilos left. Three hundred kilos left. Whew. There we go. This is beautiful. Oh, I see what you're saying. You thought I was going to go diagonal. Bloop. I mean, that would be smarter. But we don't do things the smart way here. Have we learned nothing? They need to make radiation more accessible and practical in the game. Getting the liquid nuclear waste is such a mission. I completely agree. I completely agree. And I wish... If you're gonna make things like the diamond press cost 1,000 rad bolts, I guess they're trying to force you down the nuclear reactor chain. But getting your hands on bees and uranium is a pain as well. All right, this works. It's a giant mess, but it works. And then we'll be able to shoot things over to the other colony. We're getting here. We're getting there with here. All right. Let's go to the other colony, shall we? What do we have here? We could keep all of this. In here. This would be great. Because it would all be steam. And I think that's what we're going to do. Why aren't we building this now? Granite, obsidian. So, so, oh, it's construction errands again. Uh, we do not have anybody that can do obsidian. Um, hmm. Zolden? 
Zoldan, how do you feel about digging, buddy? I, it's gonna have to be Zoldan. I guess we could tell Rob Roy. If Rob Roy only has two. So, yep. Zoldan's now a great digger. Unfortunately, he can't build, so we have to do things the slow way. This is okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do all of that. And I think that's going to be enough room. Like that. So all you need in here is enough room. I think we're going to do a two steam turbine here. I don't believe we have the stuff for it. So we can't even put down the plan. I wish they'd change that too. There should be a plan button. That instead of... For instance, instead, if I did not want to actually build this, a little check box that says planning mode. And it just puts it down there, but it takes it off the errand list, so they'll never build it. That way you can sort of plan designs. This is five. That's five. So it's going to have to go over here. a little bit of carbon dioxide we'll have to destroy once we get the water in or the this whole thing in i think that's 10 which is enough for two steam turbines good build without resources mod yeah but i don't want the the dupes to actually build it i guess you could use a resource that you don't have that might work. Oh, it Geek says it lets you plan. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Deep Fried Peanut Butter says there's a mod called Halt Construction, too. That does something similar. This would be great if we got all this done. Unfortunately, there's a little pinch row egg here. But such is life. Uh, why are the oh this is with a pips? I was like, why is there a little dirt everywhere? It's the pips. Oxygen's working well. We still have plenty of water. Please wait. Saving. 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 All right, this is good. They'll work on this. Nobody's going to get trapped. Now they're just waiting on a little bit of plastic. And we have all the aluminum we'll need for it. And then we'll also do this and that to get rid of that carbon dioxide. Hopefully it works. We'll see. Ooh, mini pod. Copper. We will go back to Halcebo. Thank you, Geek. I appreciate it. Grab our copper and then keep going. Still waiting. Meanwhile, I guess they are slowly getting a little bit of cooling here. But this place is going to be heating up. <clears throat> that one's in. Oh, we gotta figure out this situation. Oh, yeah, we already did. Because we're gonna have just a dump off. It'll dump all the sand here. Which is kind of convenient. It brings us brings it to our colony. And that way, this doesn't back up. So it's not gonna be a problem for this system. And we'll also go... I don't want to use aluminum. I guess we'll use iron. Oh, there's no way to get... Oh, wait, there is a way. Look at this. Dink, dink. Ha, <laughs> ha. Joint plate for the win. Our beautiful lettuce. 
speaking of which we started with 370 somehow we're still going up in frost burgers we have 17 dupes somebody explain to me why only 10 dupes worth of barbecue is producing enough food it should only be increasing it by 50 percent so this should only be enough for 15 dupes on frost burgers the barbecue is the limiting factor you can see right now by clicking on barbecue we have plenty of lettuce and plenty of frost buns but no barbecue We had some more room. We're just running out of room. Hmm. I think this is good, but... Oh, wait a minute. We're also getting barbecue from the Drekos, aren't we? Whenever we do this... That's... Oh my goodness. I am such a fool. We've been talking about that for like three days. Or three streams. And I just realized we're still getting all this barbecue as well. Riku says, I have been trying to move into using the liquid thermo thingy. But I always get confused on where the temperature sensor should be and how the whole setup works. Could you do a quick refresh on that? Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll do it when we, uh, we're down here. In fact, that's where we're getting all that extra barbecue. I don't know why I never thought of it, but that was it. All right. So the Thermo Aqua Tuner, which by the way, I do have a YouTube tutorial on the Thermo Aqua Tuner. The Thermo Sensor... So it depends on the situation. If you want the safest spot to steer clear of any problems, put it right to the left. In other words, right before that coolant comes into the input of the Thermo Aqua Tuner, that's where you want to put it. But there are some cases that you can get away with putting it in other places. For instance, I've also put them after it onto the bridge. And it all has to do with how cold you are making that, uh, that coolant. Because this line is going around and around and around and around forever and ever and ever. If you have more than twice the spin, like if you have enough headway, for instance, right now we're only telling that polluted water to go down to 25 degrees if possible. In other words, if it's above 25 degrees, thermo aqua tuner turns on, which the thermo aqua tuner then reduces the temperature by 14 degrees, which so it would potentially bring that water down to what there are 11 but polluted water can go all the way down to like minus 20 and eventually all this water coming in ends up being the same temperature so you could put this thermo sensor anywhere on the line and it would be chances are it would be okay what ends up happening though is if the blob of water here is warm and the blob of water over here is cold and this over here is telling it to turn on it's then going to crack the pipes when this polluted water goes low enough. But for instance, for super coolant, it doesn't matter where you put this sensor. Doesn't matter at all. Because you're not freezing that super coolant. Unless you're doing some very, some things that, you know, the game typically doesn't want you doing. If you have any other questions, always feel free to ask. It just gives me more things to talk about in the stream. And then when people are over on YouTube watching the VOD, it helps them out as well. But yeah, the safest spot is here. That way, this blob is going to be the one telling this thermal opportunity to turn on or off, which is the blob that you want to specifically cool. Alright, this is still working i'll be i don't know why the dupes are going so slow on these errands i guess it's still saying current
it almost would have been quicker just to put a liquid pump in here and pump it all. <laughs> but I figured since we have so many dupes idling, it wouldn't have mattered. But I suppose... We can also do this, right? Uh, yep, we can get rid of that. We have three bottles at a time. This one bottle's doing it too. I'm going to add two more bottles to it. Get all the dupes in on the action. I could actually add more, but this will be fine. This will be fine. We're going to have to remove some of that insulated tile anyways, because some of this stuff is invariably going to get trapped as the water rises. So we need to talk about the Sunday stream, okay? First, I'm being tagged. There it is. Ewish put it in Discord. Hal fixing a light bulb from Malcolm in the middle. You guys need to go watch that. It's absolutely wonderful. And Ewish, because you know the... Uh, <laughs> The queen you could always have that posted in the um in the twitch chat too yeah this looks good um this should at least get it going a lot quicker more dupes getting involved etc etc let's go check on this system up here it already has 200 rad bolts in it oh we need to put some automation on this Otherwise, we're just going to be blowing rad bolts. Gravity Pegasus, welcome back. Okay, when you are full. Grand sends a green signal when you're full, so we want to can over here. And we want to turn you off. Saves a lot on power. They still haven't finished this. Tell me we're out of Cobalt Ore. We're out of cobalt ore. Oy vey. Uh, let's go iron ore. There we go. What do we want to send over that at colony? We need... We don't need refined metal because we have the aluminum. Um, we're going to be building steam turbines, so we're going to need some plastic. We're going to need some steel. So let's start off with... You know what we're going to do? We're going to play this smart. We are going to play this smart. Yes. Um... I'm trying to figure out where to put it. I think this works right here. We are going to load up some nice storage bins with what we need. We'll have two different storage bins. That way we can pick two different quantities. Um, and that way, dupes will never have to touch this. And so we don't have to sit there and pay attention when we go allow manual use. Uh... Geek says they're confused. About what? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, a couple new follows. Zip Zip, welcome. Marl09, welcome. So if we wanted the dupes to be able to do this themselves, right? We'd click allow manual use and then say steel. But you can't control how much steel the dupes are going to be dropping off in that case. But in this case, we can, because we can say, I want to send two tons of steel. And then we'll say refined metal, or actually manufactured material, steel. And then on this one, we'll say, I want to send one ton. Actually, we're going to send two tons of plastic as well.
Two tons. How are you going to play this smart when you refuse to do so? <laughs> plastic. So now we have plastic and steel being loaded up in this. And now we'll just say everything. So anything that comes into here, we're not going to do that right now for, I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, anything that is loaded up in here, this auto soup will just take, load it up and drop it off over here. It will keep throwing that stuff into the planetary launcher and keep launching it wherever we want. And in this case, we want this to go to Lushiel. Is it way over here? No, it's right across the street. Dex is in the house. I'll bet you've wanted to yell at me a couple of times already, Dex. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this kind of worked, right? We're going to get rid of a couple more. Oh, what is in that? Come on. The one place I can't build. Ugh. There are other ways to combat that. Okay. There's other ways. We'll open it up and let all this water come spill in. Hmm? That's what we'll do. Um, and we have to do this again. Because they can't dig that out. Beautiful. And now I've lost my train of thought. I know I was talking about something. Oh. And why aren't these working? Body temperature, it's only 42. 40 is the cutoff. Oh, well. So much for that. We're going to have to put a real system down here. We do already have a water sieve. Interessante. We could... Yeah, we're going to have to put a carbon skimmer. And we'll, we'll utilize this water shift so it doesn't get much action anyways. And that's how we'll play it. Did you fix the bridge priority for the potty overflow? Yeah, it didn't end up being a priority issue. It was a sand issue. But yes, we did fix it. Well, we're in the process of fixing it. This system's going to work out well. Oh, I know what we need to do on Lushiel. We need to put up a system... Uh, what is it? Under rocketry? Targeting beacon. That, of course, needs power. Where do we want to bring it in at? I don't want the dupes going around. Well, I guess they're done building that, so they're not going to go all the way around anyway. So we can open this back up. Ooh, pod. Hmm. We'll grab copper. They then can come out through here. This is not blocked, correct. And now we need to bring power. That is a little bit longer of a run than I'd want, but... Aluminum ore? I guess we're using cobalt. We still need to make nice little memorials for our rovers. Look at how pathetically long this run is. I can't go straight across. No, because they won't be able to get to it there. Oh, I hate this long run. Okay. Here we go. We had problems today. I was referring back to Saturday. It will come up after the sand is solved. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> we're gonna put suits here eventually because this which we're trapping in this heat so it's not gonna be that big of a deal all right this is perfect this is perfect we're not gonna remove these until we reseal this up and we're also do we have another lobster here i would like another lobster okay we do i want to kill this lobster 
Goodbye, lobster. It's either that or you're going to get stuck in my place. Actually, we'll wait. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. You have a chance to save yourself, lobster. All right. This is okay. Zoldan keeps trying to click and drag the game display. <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't be a cool, like, Twitch integration. It'd be next to impossible because the integrations are normally very simple, like just sending text. But how bad would it be if you were able to click around and go around to each of the colonies as we're sitting here playing it? Oh. Or at least maybe you click a button over on the side of your um, panel and you could open up the overlays so you could see the overlays. That would be smooth. Oh, that's a good point, Riku. It already laid its egg. So, let, yeah, let's... Oh, did it... Nope, it's right here. It's hiding. Oh, we also need to analyze this. Do we have a... A researcher? I thought we had somebody had some research. Probably not. Who's it gonna be? We need field research. So we need two points. Rob Roy is relatively unbusy. Unbusy? Yep, unbusy. It'll be the researcher. And they have the lowest morale requirement. Uh-oh. The claws! Be careful, the claws! It's gonna take a while to research because it's underwater and we refuse to give them suits, but you know, it's whatever. Um... I'm thinking about... Yeah, we're gonna do this here. I'm gonna put this here. It's this is gonna be an awkward system. Because I've no I don't think I've ever done one so far away. From the source. Of the, the water sieve, rather. So, plumbing. Water comes in. Oh, 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 this is hot. Oh, yes. Now, eventually we're going to reuse our, all of our water, but uh, we probably want to send this back up through insulated. And more insulated. Whoop, whoop. Brilliant! Is it gonna flood? Mm, if it floods, if that's too much for it, 400 kilos. Yeah, 400 kilos is gonna be way too much. We'll move it up one. Beautiful. Uh, uh, this is out, and this was in. The, vi the volcano is going to be stifled. I don't know. Depends on how much pressure is in here. And I don't think 950 kilos. We're going to have to wait and see. That's a good point, Riku, but... Oh, okay, we're going to get this... It takes... It could be three cycles of us staring at this thing to see if it gets overpressured. I don't think it is, though. I think he might be right. I don't know. Overpressure. Dang it! So much for my easy vacuum plan. Mm. You know what we could do? What we'll do is we'll leave one... Uh, what do we call it? Pipe here? Or, I'm sorry, mesh tile? And we'll take and we'll drain all this water. This is such the long back assward way to do this. Um, 
drain enough of the water until it gets around here, and then we'll put a tile here. That's what we're going to do. Okay. <laughs> Dex thinks the number is 500 kilos. If Dex says he thinks it's below... F Kute! I think it's Kute or Kutex. First time chatter. It says 1,500 kilos. But it's only at 900 right now. Even 1,000 here. Kute! Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, we're, we have the same problem here. Alright, this is good. This is good. I like our little carbon um, system. Carbon skimming system. The question is, where do we pull it from? This one has plenty. Bloop. Oh no, that's the backbone, isn't it? Why didn't we make the backbone out of something more that I could recognize it? Because that's going to kill me. Uh, let's, in fact, we'll upgrade that. Just so I can see the difference. And then we'll score some of this right here. Gold? No. Cobalt. Whoop. Beautiful. Uh, 150? Ugh. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. We're gonna destroy one of our abyss lights. Not if I can help it. Not if I can help it. Alright, this is working well. It takes them a little bit longer, so we're gonna go back to Halcebo. Oh, did we already start launching? No. All right, so here's the system. See how we have both of these loaded up? Four tons worth of material. Now we just uncheck them. Uncheck them. Like this. Uncheck this one. Now we have all the steel and the plastic that we wanted there. Should we just say all? And look at that. Oh, yes. And as soon as this thing gets 200 kilos... It's just going to fire it. Pew! Look at it. Oh, slow it down. It only costs 30 rad. Oh, yeah. Launching them. Ooh, sushi break. Glenn Sullivan talked dirty to me. What kind of sushi? I love how much you can just keep launching a pow, pow. Which then turns the rad bolt generator back on. Look at this. Thing of beauty. Alright, so we have plastic and steel. That's all we kind of needed, right? Now let's go over to Lost Shield. Who's still going to be... Oh, we need to hurry with the targeting beacon. That stuff is not going to take very long. And no, you silly silliness. We can actually deconstruct those. We don't want them. Don't want to deconstruct the rover quite yet. Okay. Go, dupes! Go! Let's check the star map. Look at all of them. Oh my gosh. They're going to get there in seconds. Five seconds. 15 seconds. Does this targeting beacon not need to be powered? Oh, nope. There we go. There's some of them over there. Well. We can build a ladder system across the Great Expanse. With our dupes that don't have suits. It'll take them a little while, but they'll eventually be able to go get it. And then we're going to have one of these beautiful little payload openers. Oh, that's going to be hot, isn't it? 129C. 
because the steel came from where it came from. Mm. Maybe we should have waited until it cooled it down over here. Please see the plastics already at 37 degrees. Yeah, that would have been uh that would have been smart. That would have been fortuitous. Unfortunately, uh didn't think that one through. Now we have 120 degree steam or steel. As soon as we build with it, it's gonna help, but you know, gonna be problems. Gonna be problems. Alright, so what we're gonna do. We need one of these uh payload opener the can openers. Payload opener. Right here. Right here. I guess we're just not going to care about the heat. It's only a little bit of steel. So it should be okay, right? Right, chat? <laughs> Tell me it's going to be okay, chat. Okay, that's good. And I don't... Does it need power? Yes, of course it does. Here we go. Oh, wow. They have a lot to do on this colony. Like, we are really behind on errands. Plus, they still have to do all this. Plus, we need to tame this water. We're going to be in this colony for another month or two. <laughs> Chat. Max says, nothing could possibly go wrong. Nepalinus says, build it in the vacuum of space. That's probably a decent idea, too. Eventually, the payload opener would need to be chilled off, though, because it does produce heat. <laughs> Geek says, even if it's not okay for the game, it's okay for the entertainment, so it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Meanwhile, over on Hellsebo, Hell they're doing great. Getting our interplanetary launcher going back. Everything's loading up perfectly. Oh, oh. Look at this. We caught it just in time. I was for sure that I was absolutely going to miss it. All right, so now we can get rid of that vent. And then we just got to load up the cooling loop. Which means we can get rid of these. Over pressure for volcano, 150 kilos of gas, or first two layers fully submerged in liquid. Glenn Sullivan had a spicy crunch tuna roll, spicy crunchy yellowtail roll, and a spicy crunchy salmon roll. Twenty-one dollars from the local joint. That's pretty good. Uh, Cocky Chick is a much better connoisseur than I am when it comes to sushi, but my personal favorite is a uh, Philadelphia roll. I should have eaten more. Uh, I did have Wayback Burger today for lunch. You'd figure that I'd be more full right now. All right, so that is gone. This needs to be swept. And then this still needs to get full. Yeah, it's the cream cheese that does it for me. Absolutely does it for me. Cream cheese is life. Da -da. Uh, we just got to pick up this blue dirt, then we can seal this whole thing in. And then we got to... We got to chill it, right? Which that's going to take a little while, because right now it's 38 degrees. And that's not... The money. Oh, do we not have a place for our polluted dirt? This keeps biting me in the butt. I guess we'll just say sweep only polluted dirt. And that way we can every once in a while go pick it up. 
until we figure out our system that's going to drop it all off to let our poke shells eat it. If we'd stop being lazy and just make a proper room, we could do that, but we're being lazy. Luke Codes. Thanks for the follow. All right, this should be getting... Oh, we need to turn this off. Uh, if you're above one billion dollars. All right, it still has some good room. We didn't miss it. Remember when you're filling these, always fill in with the thermo aqua tuner off in this setup. And you should have exactly the right amount of coolant. Luke Codes, first time chatter. Can't go wrong with a Philly. I mean, mm. is that about full? Yeah, we can probably stop dropping off. I also like way too much wasabi in my soy sauce. Love wasabi. Still more gaps. Where are these gaps coming from? I was really hoping not to... Like, there's a random gap right there. See how the simulation's already starting to drag? It's like, I get it. I get it. I think this is going to be good enough. ASMR stream. Probably one more. One more bloop. There we go. Now let's turn off that bridge and we can fire this thing up fire it up please tell me i'm deconstructing the right thing please oh thank goodness i was afraid for a second that i was deconstructing that tile that would have been bad all right so now with that deconstructed we can turn this bad boy back on we want to say we want everything coming out at what 20 degrees we'll start at 20 we'll see how much power it's using we'll go to slow speed for a minute just to watch make sure everything's working well glenn sullivan doesn't like cream cheese Debris, debris cooler 2.46 kilos. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, this... Oh, there's a... What is this? Oh, that's fine. This is perfectly fine. It will come back in a minute. Check on it. We want to make sure it's chilled down, specifically the coolant, before we turn this thing on, because that sand is going to light this water up for just a minute. But we want... You want the sand or whatever you have coming through the debris chiller to be warmer than what your coolant is. Otherwise, for instance, if that you say 20 degrees and you put this thermo sensor on 20 degrees, it's never going to get colder to be able to launch out. But let's check out the automation. When there's a green signal, we're going to allow transport up to continue across the line. So green signal, it's going to continue. So when do we want to send a green signal? Oh, the lettuce is backwards. Oh, that hurts my soul. When do we want to send a green signal? We want to send a green signal when it's above 25 degrees. When it's below 25 degrees, it'll shoot it out here once we fix this giant mess. We just need one bridge. Hopefully. Anywhere on this line should do. That should do it. Maybe. Rip. Sot 777. Hey Echo, I just started a colony. Nox, you're not included in your hatch tutorial. Helped me so much. Thank you very much, Sot. I appreciate you dropping by, and I'm glad that tutorial was able to help. 
Lots of first time chatters tonight. Very happy to see it. The sand will need to clear the line for other things to load. The sand will need... Yes. That's why you have this bridge here. So this will not dump off until that sand is cool enough. Oh, this one here? Yeah, it'll get there. As soon as we put this bridge, it should turn around. Hopefully. There it goes. I love it when a plan comes together. The other side of the bridge? The food load. The other side of the bridge. Yes, I see what you mean. Yes, that was the pain in the butt we talked about earlier. Is that the sand will have to be, and that's the reason why. All right, so what Geek is talking about in the chat is, and this was a big thing earlier in the stream, is I, I knew not to do this. And I remember even talking to you guys about it when we were doing it. It's just we didn't have a lot of room and didn't want to waste more conveyor rail. You never want your outputs to be on the rail. Okay, you want the outputs to be like one off of it and then you join the output because in this case now we're having to sort of duct tape the solution because when the sand comes across here and the sand is full on this line these conveyor loaders are not going to be able to empty so whereas before the ultimate destination for that sand was going to be right here and we were going to put it in just a conveyor receptacle now we can't we're just going to have to dump it all right here and the reason why we have to is because we have to clear this line so that the food can make it home. What did I do? Why is there lettuce there? Oh, we forgot to do this. Ah! How long ago was that, chat? It's like traffic on a one-way road. That is... That's a, the best way I've heard about it. Uh, we want filtration mediums, which is alphabetically sorted to go down that line. That lettuce is probably getting just about stale. Stale? Words have meaning. Uh, and we can just go like that. Oh, this poor line. It's at 4,600 watts. There is no way. What... I hate this is mm, this power spine is my least favorite of all the power spines in fact we're not going to do it there Whoop. we're going to do it from this one right here which seems not to have as much of a load <laughs> you forgot it <laughs> the 5 p.m. traffic it's like traffic on a one-way street at 5 p.m. is the way gravity set it I like that. All right, what are we at? We're at 39 degrees, chat. Oh, come on. <sighs> Somebody in the comments, because I, something similar happened in a Let's Play on YouTube. And somebody called it a big old pile of shame. And they're absolutely right. Oh my gosh. Are you cooling the rails? No, not specifically. We're leaving room in case we want to cool another liquid coming through here. So the coolant is only going around the outside. M&M style. What's the cooler box for? Just got here. Oh, oh now let's, can we please pick the stuff up? The cooler box, um, or the Debris Chiller 5000, <laughs> is to cool off the sand that's going to be dumped into this conveyor loader that is eventually going all the way over to here. And we didn't want the 120 degree sand coming all the way through here, just firing everything. 
it would have uh, hurt the crops, right? It would have stifled the crops. It would have dragged a whole bunch of heat in here, so we had to cool the sand. But we're also going to eventually use it for igneous rock from here, too. Um, and I just realized we are not going to need this smart bin anymore since we're not automating this. We're just saying, hey, make all the sand. Grow it and cook it at the same time. <laughs> oh. That should be good. Plenty of room on that load. Uh, apparently this also needs some power. No. Stop clicking. Oh, you... We'll do it the slow way. Here we go. Now, how's this working up here? Oh, look at it. It's already ready to fire. Fire it off! Do we have everything we need? Poor Lost Shield. They're going to be working on this for a month. Not to mention they can't even get up here. Ugh. We have some obsidian, so let's make this out of obsidian. And make sure they can get up and around. Oh, that's so horrible. How hot is this steel? We have no Megatronics Engineer! I would like to know why it takes a Megatronics Engineer to make a little bit of rail. But any old dupe can build an espresso machine. Can somebody flavor that one for me? Grignac is going to be the Mechatronics Engineer, and they have the points! Grignac for the win! Uh, Max? What are you doing, Max? Max, you're picking up some more improved carry, okay? And some more farming. Beautiful. And we'll give you the best farming hat ever. All right. Now we have a mechatronics engineer. For work safety, obviously. <laughs> zip zip, first time chatter, welcome. <laughs> oh. Have you ever tried to install ball bearings? I have installed ball bearings, but I don't see any ball bearings. My, the way I figure this rail works, right, is it, this just looks like, like railroad track rail, okay? So I've always figured that it's the conveyor loaders that sort of sends it along. Like, maybe the little baskets are on strings or pulleys. So if the ball bearings are anywhere, it's in the little baskets. <laughs> oh, it's just fake Ani stuff, right? Uh, let's cover that back up. We're going to need to sweep all of this. Did we ever get this analyzed? No, we never even got this analyzed. Why isn't this analyzed? It hasn't even made progress to analyzing this thing. Kutai says, wait, it's a conveyor rail. Isn't that the kind of thing that has wheels and stuff? See? Like, all great points. All great points. We're going to have a pump down here. Okay. We're going to send that water up in two different directions. I don't know where yet. We're going to have to figure that out because we need to slowly drain this. If it's regular water, it's... <sighs> we'll bridge it on. If it's polluted water, it'll go through. How did... Where's the... Where'd this water come from? Chat. I don't, I don't know, chat. I don't, sometimes, oxygen not included. 
Could you imagine trying to make a video out of this? <laughs> like, we haven't accomplished much about anything. You opened the flood to the right and removed an air pocket when you overpressurized the volcano. Ah, I didn't realize I overpressurized it. Must have been it. Must have been it. Okay, so yeah, we're going to bleed this on. So basically, this is not... It's going to do something like this. We will not use this water. Unless there isn't water. But before we do that, we are also going to need a liquid filter. Where's my liquid filter? I'm just being blind, right? Yep, there it is. Okay. Please save. Oh, so I completely sidetracked myself earlier. We need to talk about Sunday's stream. We're not going to be doing cards. So if it's water, it goes through. If it's anything else, it goes up here. It's only polluted, right? Polluted water. Polluted water. This salt water will not be coming down. Hopefully. Oh, this is all salt water. Okay, if it's water, it's going through. If it's anything else, it's we're going to send it somewhere. We don't know yet. Hmm. If it's anything else, we'll start dumping it into buckets for now. Oh, yes, chat. Everyone's favorite, some buckets. Why? Why can't they? Oh, there's a plant. We'll put it in buckets. All right. Once the 400 cycles goes away and they are finally able to get this done. And then we'll, we'll sort through all that mess later. Okay. There we go. Uh, should we dig any of this first igneous rock? No, no. Yeah, this is all safe to dig, right? I think. We'll see if work all of a sudden stalls. All right, we're getting closer. A little bit more. Oh, no, nope, it's. Uh, where else can we dig? Oh my gosh, we never put the insulated tiles here. All that heat was being dumped. Oh, that's a mistake. Still think you did the liquid filter backwards? Like, let's be honest, I probably did. Uh, yep, we did. Um, the reason why, and he's absolutely correctly, he's absolutely correct, is because oh, we can only pick one material, so we only let me select you. Thank you. We only want water. To come through here everything else can go up and then this can separate from there yeah and now we're gonna need more power this is not a forever system this is only until we get this cleaned up um this is stifled so it should not be going off anymore we sealed this one up a long time ago Uh, we still haven't made any of the ladders. I do like this huge high-rise ladder system, though. That's kind of cool. But look at all of them. Why didn't we plug in the beacon? Ugh. Check the heat map. Yeah, it's not great. Okay, it's not great. Luckily, it's not over 70. So the dupes are okay. Ooh, printing pod. Water. We'll take all the water we can get. Beautiful. Let's 
So we'll pump all this in. These need to be finished before we start pumping that. And I guess it doesn't matter because we haven't added power yet. So we'll just hold it there. That's how we roll. That's why we didn't plug the beacon in. <laughs> Look how much work we've created for ourselves. Ugh. Oh, that means that plastic's out. That steel and plastic is out. This plastic's at 37. The steel's at 121. It's debris on insulated tile, so it's not going to heat much up. And when we build with it, it'll return it to a normal state, so we're good. It kind of did spread to the bee area. Look at the 18 degrees. Not to where the bees themselves are. But there's nothing in here that'll actually re-cool it, right? Maybe the bee's body temperature after forever? <laughs> Could I? No, so the way debris works. Um, so the heat calculations in oxygen not included, there's multiple heat different heat calculations. There is... And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forget some of these mechanics, right? It's been a while since I've done this tutorial. But there is a tutorial out there. Um, let's say... Okay, so liquid to gas is one type of heat exchange. Liquid to tile is a different type of heat exchange. Um, gas to gas... And it's the way when two things are touching and they have an environment beam, how do they transfer that heat? Okay. In this case, the debris has a more thermal dynamic, more thermal exchange with the tile that it's sitting on than it does the gas. Because gas conducts the least amount of, uh, of temperature exchange. So the majority of the temperature exchange goes right to the tile. It's also the reason why the steel is not dropping very fast. Even though the environment around it is 30 degrees. Now, if we made this a metal tile, that steel would drop pretty quickly. Unknown geyser. Where's the unknown geyser? Is there a tronium down by the bees? A CO2 geyser? Yeah, we don't know. We haven't gone in there and checked. And I tell you what. I'm going to do it. But I'm not going to look. And chat, you're not allowed to tell me. Okay? Chat, do not tell me what this is. I'm not going to look. Do not spoil this. Okay? But its I know I can understand it's fun for you. I'm going to get as close as I can with the mouse. <laughs> this is so stupid. All right. Here we go. I just gotta, I gotta see the mouse going right about it so I can just move it to the left. All right, not looking. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Did it work? Did everybody see it? Oh, that's amazing. That's an amazing stream moment right there. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> It's a soap geyser. <laughs> oh man, that's so awesome. We're finally getting these built. Oh man. We gotta get all this plugged out. All this done. We want water coming out of here. It wasn't soap, it was hot fudge. That may that may have been my most one of my most fun moments in streaming. That was pretty cool. Um, I think we're good here to actually start doing this, though. Power is up. The filter's set. And we're starting to pump. Please, Echo, don't forget to look before the water drops below this point and ruins everything. Okay? 
You have your instructions. This is going to get really full, but we're just going to deconstruct these and make them again. It's a show full, guys. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Uh, what else we got? We got plenty of sand on this colony. I'm not too concerned. I know we only have 10 tons right now. Oh, no, Kutai. See, that's where you're trying to outthink the system. Using a hydro sensor would be smart. We don't do smart around here. We wait for things to backfire. We do things the lazy way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The hydro sensor is a genius idea, though. Oh, it looks like we got some construction. We need to get these guys suits. We need to get them suits. We have the oxygen. There's no excuse. Let's build some suits. Where are we going to put them? Right here. Am I allowed to destroy these abyssalite? I think this is an acceptable abyssalite destruction. Um, so we need to get everybody home. So we're just gonna, we're gonna unlock this for now. You can whisper in Twitch. Unless Glenn Sullivan's like driving or something and can't see his whispers. Um, okay, here we go. I just need to wait for everybody to get home. That way we don't trap somebody on this other side because we're going to dig all that out and make this proper. Um, this is all done, right? So there's no other things to do. Oh, they wait. They can still get out because they can go up through here. Okay. Okay. You like apples? How about them apples? Now there's nothing for you to do. They had an escape plan. All right, so we're going to build some suits. That way they can breathe. And that way we have no problem being able to do all this kind of work. Salt geyser is eventually going to be a problem. That's going to be a lot of liquid to work with. But all that salt that we're going to get is going to be more sand. So that's great. That's money. And remember... This planetoid? Where are you, Lushua? Has a gold volcano, a copper volcano, and aluminum column, uh, volcano. At least one of each. So, there could be five aluminum volcanoes on this planetoid. We don't know. So, But they're somewhere around here. I suspect we still have a lot more on this colony. I'm pretty sure it probably goes down to maybe here. You can kind of see... See it right here? Whoop. I mean, that's pretty good distance with a lot of stuff being down there. All right, so everybody should be home. Uh, we're not going to bite into that abyssalite. We're going to destroy all this. Perfect. And then we're going to put some nice, uh, maybe, mess tiles? Yeah, mess tiles are fine. Looks good. Looks good. Um, I don't know it. We're just going to have to keep pumping this thing until it goes down. It's going to take a little while because each one of those Tanks is only going to hold five kilos. Or five tons, rather. And, like, to give you an idea, that's more than five tons. That's like six tons. So we have a little while. But the saltwater geyser should not end up filling it back up because it's overpressured right now. 
because it can't it's kind of got like a giant liquid lock <laughs> if you kind of imagine a, this being a liquid lock maybe it would be smart to do something like this for now just so we can get this online Otobis says, if you want dupes to live truly extravagantly, you have to make your food source come from the meat of an animal that only eats gold. That's actually possible now. Frost burgers made out of... Uh, frost burgers using the meat out of a plug slug. Why not close up the pump so it will clear the volcano first? Um, because I also want to get this water down a little bit so this carbon skimmer can, can light up. Because right now the carbon skimmer is not working either. And we're starting to get a lot of carbon dioxide backed up. I don't know where all this polluted oxygen is coming from, though. Where's that polluted oxygen co Oh, I guess right here? Maybe from this water off-gassing? I just figured there'd be enough pressure to where it wouldn't off-gas. Oh, it's still off-gassing right over the, the, the carbon dioxide. Fertilizer, we'll take it. Alright, this is looking good. How much dort do we have? We have 275 tons of dort, so we're not worried about it. Um, so we have enough meal light, meal wood. I'm tempted. Oh, <gasps> our crude painting's gone. Oh, that's a weird bug. We used to be a little stick picker, stick figure person. And now it's just straight broken. Oh, Well, that stinks. Stupid bugs. I'll bet you the thing's going nutty somewhere, too. In fact, we have been going for a little bit. Let's do a quick uh, save. Go back to the menu. A quick little restart of the colony. I'm assuming everybody's seen similar bugs that I've been talking about on YouTube and on stream. I think somebody turned the painting backwards. <laughs> they didn't like the stick man. Oh, we're going to talk about Sunday stream. I think I've narrowed it down to one of two. Kinda. Maybe one of three. Skyrim is out. We're not going to be doing a Skyrim run for a couple of reasons. One, it's the oldest of them all. And it also is, dare I say, the clunkiest? Clunkiest? I yeah, you can add a bunch of mods to it, but I don't know. Okay, no, Skyrim's back on the table because now that I'm thinking about it, it would be kind of fun to be working way through the anniversary edition. Nope, still not fixed. Well, Rob Roy, you're going to have to make another painting. Oh, we don't have the reed fibers here. They were only able to do that because it was an existing painting. If we deconstruct it, maybe it'll come down. Maybe that's the painting itself. It, no, it was a stick man. I want to see you speed run the original Doom. <laughs> We've decided, well, we've been deciding in the past few um, streams because there are some first-person RPGs that I just, I don't have time to play. And those are that I have not beaten yet. And as a pro gamer, mm, mm, we're not pro, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I still haven't beaten 
Witcher 3, Skyrim, Cyberpunk 2077, and Fallout 4. I haven't done them. And I want to, because I love those games for each of their own independent little things. Um, I have beat Witcher 1 and Witcher 2. I have beat... Oh, we're finally starting to burn through some of that. Which means we're using too much power now. What did we add online? Okay, the liquid filter is a little expensive. The carbon skimmer is not too bad. Event... Uh, it's only 100... Oh, and then the pump's 242. That's a lot. We're not going to use this forever, though. Just got to get it down just a little bit. Uh, let's not open that. So anyways... But I want to play them. I want to experience them. I we ne I need to beat Skyrim because I'm like the only person on the face of the planet that plays video games for a living who has not beaten, has not beaten Skyrim. Okay? Um, I beat both Witcher 1 and 2, so there's no excuse for me not to have played through the rest of Witcher 3. Cyberpunk, I just think, is a beautiful game and deserves to be played. Oh, I did beat Grand Theft Auto 5. The entire chat, not the entire chat, but a lot of the chat is saying Skyrim. The power of Todd compels you. <laughs> this is going to take a month of Sundays, too. I need to figure out another place to dump that water. Maybe. Oh, chat. Let's just dump it back over here and deal with it later. <laughs> uh, cuckoo. Hmm. But I wanted to capitalize on some of that water, but I guess we could do this and just keep doing this. All right, now we got suits time. Oh, we don't have any reed fiber. We're about to. We're about to. How much reed fiber do we have? 330 units. Let's send them 100 pa. Industrial ingredient. Reed fiber. Mm. Let's also send them the suits. Clothing. Clothing. Atmo suit, we want what? Three of them? Four of them. We want four. Your thumb calls you Echo. Your th I don't I don't get it, Snipes. Snipes, explain it to me. I feel sorry for Saturday Echo. Saturday Echo's playing more Arnie. I need to make four more suits. Where's my suit maker? Suit maker! Yeah, sending them some nice uh, snazzy suits or whatever would be guys nice do. Now that the stuff's actually going to land where it's supposed to. Where is my... I'm losing my gourd. Gotta be around here somewhere. I'm playing too many colonies, man. There we go. Four. Whoop. Oh, it's a shout. Is what Snipes was talking about. Last time I seriously played this game over 550 hours was before Rockets. So, so much great stuff to play with again. I didn't even... I started when there was rockets. If that gives you... I was before DLC. I was before... I was probably right when rockets started. With the old school star map. Alright, this is going good. 359,000 calories in Frostburgers. We've actually gone down a little bit. Why do they keep getting stuck here? 
Someone get the kids off that escalator! No, I don't want to do you guys, though, because I could use your beautiful reed fibers. Have a good one, Snipes. All right, so one Atmos suit. No, this is 200 kilos for one Atmos suit? Oh, then we want 800 kilos. Okay, that works. Uh, reed fiber, we got 96 kilos. How many, how many is that? I guess that's plenty. Uh, now I don't trust this. Okay, here's one reed fiber. And it weighs... No, I just want one reed fiber. I thought one reed fiber was one kilo. But 225... Yeah, one reed fiber is one kilo because there's 225 reed fiber here and there's 225 kilos there. Okay. So, we want 100 kilos worth of reed fiber to launch. And we want four suits. Those will be up in a minute. This is good. Everything else over here looking good? Ooh. Ooh. Debris chiller time? The water's still 39 degrees. Uh, no. Oh, it's because it's so hot over here right now. Hmm. Let's seal it up. Let's push this down a little bit. Let's say 15. And hopefully, yeah, because all this oxygen all over the place is 45 degrees. Uh, did we not? I thought we sealed this up. Oh, this must have just been the leftovers. Ew. All right, this is good. That should keep it cold. Yeah, look at it. Oh, it was dropping. Yeah, whenever oxygen comes over, it's just quickly dropping. This is good. Eventually, it'll drive that down. In fact, we're going to say something stupid like five degrees. Right? Because polluted water is like minus 20. Whoop. Minus 20. So, yeah, even if water comes over here and it's at 5.1... And so it gets cooled. It'll only go down to about uh, 9 degrees. Minus 9. So we're fine. Where else? Do we have our suits yet? Four Atmos suits. Now we can take out the Atmos suits. And we will load up... Look, it says Primo Garb. Apparently, you can't specify. No, nope, just drop it. Just... I want... I want uh, four snazzy suits, please. Hopefully, each snazzy suit's only one kilo. That's my guess. And we can unselect the reed fiber. Oh, we're, we're cleaning. Don't worry. Stand by. Oh, it's waiting for 200 kilos. You already have 200 kilos. Oh, it already sent them. <laughs> the debris eater. Oh, look what's done. Yay. Welcome home. You had five suits. The bins count individual suits, not their weight. How? I said kilos right here. And it says kilos over here. I don't know. Do we not have any 
fresh snazzy suits just hanging around? I guess we're going to need to make some more snazzy suits. And if we're going to do that, then we might as well make them into spiffy overalls. Mm. So we'll wait and send them primo garb. All right, this is good. You're not sleeping in here. Okay. This is grounded. Grab all the data banks. Oh, yes. Okay. Wit. Wit left the rocket. Let's see if they can make it all the way back up here, which they're going to be they're going to be fine because I forgot to equip the rock the wit with the suit. Now hopefully he gets the errand to come grab it before going back inside. But we'll see. There he goes. He's climbing, climbing. Good. Great job. Wow, he's quick. Nope, no, 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 no. Sopping wet, eye irritation, popped eardrums, light wounds. All right, we're not going to assign that then. We're just going to take it home. We'll have somebody scoop it up. Uh, yeah. Along with all this too. Beautiful. I love this little system here. It's pretty good. Um. Oh, we're making them. There's some snazzy suits that are eventually going to turn into some beautiful spiffy overalls. Now let's go check back on Lucio and the job that never ends. Did we get? I think we did. Five ammo suits. Did we get the reed fiber yet? It won't send the reed fiber because it's waiting for 200 kilos. Just realized that. She will say, you can fire as soon as you have 50 kilos. Uh, actually, we're going to say 49 kilos. No, we're going to say 50 first. Fire him. Look, are you waiting for rad bolts? You have 99 rad bolts. And you have 100 kilos. Launch. Launch, I say. It must not be counting the reed fiber, right? Maybe something to do with like what Dex said. Uh, I don't know. We'll say 100 kilos. Is 100 kilos in it? Don't know why it's not firing. We'll see. But over on Los Hill, the more important thing is we're eventually going to need those reed fibers. But for now, we can put down. Stations. Stations, please. Can it fit right there? Oh, so close. What about right here? Yeah, this is good. This is a good spot. That way we can repair them. I got 99 problems with rad bolts, not one. No, the the launch cost for that trip is only 30. First time chatter, by the way, LT424. Not disabled by automation. It's not full on rad bolts, but it's yeah. 
unless it waits until it's full on rad bolts. And then we'll fire everything off at 30 rad bolts per time. Let's try it again. Let's try changing the destination again to Wulshiel. Nope. Clear. Now let's try changing it to Lushiel. Now it fired him. That's a little weird. A little finicky. It's all right. Oh, let's see. We can see how fast it goes. Come on, little guy. 40 seconds. That's incredibly quick. The debris eater. I love the debris eaters. Drecos. We could wrench some Drecos to get the reed fibers here. Might as well get some. All right, so this is good. Now we need we can build our suits. Uh, Max is almost finished with the exosuit forge. We got to remember to turn on to repair Atmo suits. And now. Uh, we only need four, right? Good. Good, 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 good. I mean, it looks perfect. We'll deliver those. Ugh, this wire is really starting to... Take the limit. But now we gotta figure out where we're gonna make... We have the oxygen here. I guess we just take one whole pipe off, right? As a reminder, we have to cool this oxygen eventually because it's going to be getting warmer. Right now, we're sending it through all this water. Oh, that's a pretty good idea, Zolden. We could put a ladder right here. And then a pair of found... No. I guess you could put a ladder right here. Some foundations and you could put two more. <gasps> we could have more dupes. <laughs> like we're limited so much by the fact that we already have this pretty little barracks. <laughs> we could just add a bed right here. Uh, it would make sense. The only fear though, the only fear is that we're eventually going to be getting to the point where we have too many, too many dupes in the colony, and then it's going to be unplayable for a series. But I like it. Let's do it. Yeah, that should fit. We're going to ruin our corner molding, though. Hmm. Let me cancel that. You know what we could do <laughs> um is just break it in like this destroy those and then you can have a whole nother row but then we don't have the beautiful tiles like that I, we're fine with four right we got to look at the end game about it eventually the idea is that they're fine we only need as many duplicates to do the work that needs to be done here. And once we're done here, there's not going to be a lot of work. Why not use bunk beds? I mean, that's... That's a pretty good idea. Can you use bunk beds outside the rocket? I don't think I've ever tried that. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. They're going to get mad. Um, why are we all sleeping at the exact same time? We're not on the same schedules. Oh, we did make them all on the same schedule. 
Lashiel. We need a Lashiel too then. Because this is not good. There's only two potties. Why? Why does Echo do some of the things that Echo does? Do. Do do. A ding dang do. Yeah, that's not good. Perfect. That's much better. But now we need to rename the schedule. Lost shield up. Oh, wait, sorry. Pausing. <laughs> Gonna quote Echo for this one. We don't play smart here. We play fast and loose. Fast and loose. Um, can we... Rob Roy, you've slept like all day. Yes. Do it. Uh-oh, what's the matter? All right, furniture. Furniture. I just never thought about using the ladder beds here. Oh my goodness. And it's the same, like there's no penalty for using the ladder beds, I believe. Other than it can mess people up. Run speed minus 25%, nobody cares. Health plus 25, stamina plus 100. As long as these two duplicates are not going to bed when these two duplicates are, are awake or going to sleep, because otherwise it will wake them up. But we can just make sure these two duplicates are on the same schedule and these two duplicates are on the same schedule. This is Alpha Shift. This is Delta Shift. Why do you use the bathroom slot? They go potty in the downtime. Um, because they can also go shower. All right. All right. Let's, who is this assigned to now? We got to make sure they're assigned to... Who's this? Max and Zolden? Max and Zolden. They're on opposite schedules. Of course they are. Uh, Zolden? Zolden? Right here. Rob Roy, you're going back to Lost Shield 1. Now, Grignac and Rob Roy are assigned these beds. Here we go. Now they won't be disturbed. Look at this! They're going to be a little bit jealous, right? Because, you know, these people have standalone cots with nice little curtains. A little, a little hanger to dry off your towel. They don't have anything here. Except a bunk buddy. Maybe that's the advantage. You get bunk buddies. Sonata. You can tell Sonata's been watching the stream. There's so much room for activities. I mean, right? All right, so these are still filling, so they're not going outside quite yet, which is fine. Oh, we should put some decor here. Does Rob Roy have another skill point yet? Yes, they do. Masterworks artist extraordinaire. And they can actually use metal blocks. Oh, it's our first. It's our first suit dupe. On this side of the galaxy. Uh, we actually need to use metal blocks here. Because uh, Lost Shield don't care, right? They get a hook for their hats. Oh, that is true. They do get a nice hat hook. That's a very fair point. It's even, Steven, then. It's even. Uh, we're out of hydrogen. Which means we're going to have to start paying the wheel cost. Of course, that generator's doing a decent job with what it's getting. Keeping that battery going. And as soon as this thing pipe blocked, because it's flooded. Uh, you should be able to go through there. Oh, duh.
That's my fault. Uh, yeah, why are you on nine? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Now we get to add more dupes! More dupes! More dupes! Whoop whoop! Where we get... We only have one cycle. One cycle to add people to the pain train that is Lushiel. And then we're gonna not let those new dupes out. We'll do some control here. That way, uh... The slow dupes that haven't been around for a little while with horrible athletics. Oh, wait. Atmos suit. Repair Atmos suit. Forever. Beautiful. It's coming together. It's coming together. And since we don't have... Do we have a rock crusher yet? No. That's kind of surprising. Uh, we need to add the eggshells, because apparently they're not sweeping those. Yep, eggshells. Yeah, this is fine. I'm not a slow dupe. I'm deliberate. Look at this! Very nice. Okay. Um, almost one whole suit full. Oh, chat. I knew this was going to bite me in the ass. I knew it. I knew it. We only have one gas pump. So we only have a 500 kilo or 500 grams, a half a kilo worth of pressure, which can only provide oxygen for five dupes. We have to move so much stuff around. Okay. It's okay. We're gonna get fixed. But I'm glad I remembered it now. What? You don't need to be... Oh, you do need to be insulated, because that's hot oxygen. Or hot... No, what are you... This is the wrong stuff. You need to go in here. And then you need to come out... Go through that way. Because this is going to be kind of crowded. And we're about to lose the power, which is fine. How much hydrogen is in here? Should be zero? Good. Good. We're not going to let any in there either. Alright, dupes. I need this done first. This all needs to be done first. No time for questions. Which is kind of good, though, is we will be able to get more hydrogen out of the system. Because we'll be producing more oxygen. Eh. Must add tiles. Yes, of course, Dex. Dex is peeking around the corner with a ninja star. Evil nemesis. All right, this is good. This is groovy. We're still pumping, but we have no power right now. Can we can we not run? Doing what you told me to, drill sergeant. All right, so that's going over. All right, yeah, that's all clean. A uh, volcano, salt water, volc polluted oxygen. I was hoping that the layer of water was going to remain on top. Now we have no layer of water.
I'm trying to figure this out now. I don't think there's a way to do it the easy way. Of course, we've made this look like anything but the easy way. Reroute the salt water. Yeah, but right now we're filtering out only water. I mean, that's a pretty good idea. I mean, that's pretty good, old son. I like it. Who said that? Uh... Geek. <laughs> I'd like to apply for an internship. Oh. Somebody said that. Reroute. Kutai. Thank you, man. That was a good idea. That was a pretty good idea. Go like this. Uh, I'm going to come across a little something like this. Right here. Right here. No. Stop. Thank you. Uh, this will be fine here. And then we'll do something like this. Like this. And then we'll have to destroy the polluted oxygen when it comes in. Have I ever played Terraria? I have not. It's another on the long list of games I wish I could play. Um, and then we're going to turn this off for a moment. Here we go. Here we go. That's using our noggin. Except... Why did we stop building things? Oh, I wonder if they're in bed. We gotta go check. Ah, oh, we missed it. I wanted to see them in their bunk beds with their hats hanging. Oh. Seven. Where are you going? That's not a priority. Why? Oh, there's 10 kilo... 120 kilos worth of water. I guess it was overpressured. <laughs> Sonata says, every time I try to play something not Ani, I last like 10 minutes and play Ani again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you, the, that, um, Earl Grey, the oil's tasting more chocolatey, and I just realized why this thing hasn't been analyzed, because no one is allowed to do research. We gotta go down here, and, uh, who was it that we gave the research stuff to? I think it was Rob Roy? Yes. Now they'll be able to analyze it under the water. Good luck. I know their science, their science skill is so horrible. It's probably a four because they only had two pips. Yep. They're going to be at that for a month of Sundays. Oh, look at this. We are flowing. Now we got to do some horrible... Hor Whoa. I got to move this again. Like, this is getting to be problematic. Now this has got to be unlocked. It's a whole thing. And we're going to put another one right here. Right here! And we'll have to figure all that out too. Let's work on that together, dear dupes. Uh, nothing else is being constructed, right? We stop that. Ooh, dupe time! Farming and supplying. No, not a mouth breather. Cooking, caregiving, yokel. No. Operating, Frankie. Hey, Frankie, love the hair. We're taking Frankie. 
three, two, one. And there it is. <laughs> Calero with the in-game name. <laughs> oh. My queen. Would you like straight up Queen Calero? Right, this is oh no that's not gonna do re sculpt that re sculpt it thank you Jaxosaurus Jaxosaurus is coming to the colony where is come here Jax reminds me of DS9 Jax is Saurus. Wait till this kid sees their name in the game. Beautiful. Hopefully Riku is still around. I'm sure they'll be back one day. All right, uh, this is good. Okay, now we can fix this a little bit. We have to separate it from here. Uh, we're just gonna bust that, okay? We're gonna bust it. And then we're gonna do something like this. Yeah, this kind of works, because now we can just go up and over. Gas bridge to our oxygen supply. Trap the polluted oxygen behind a tile and place a vent behind it inside the polluted oxygen, like an infinite storage. Don't delete the polluted oxygen yet. Uh, that way it dumps enough salt water in. I think it'll still do it this way, because what we'll do once this water all finishes in... Um, We'll just wait for this pump to lower it and then we'll start pumping the, um, this water in. So it'll just be a thin layer of salt water on top. It's going to be a little while, but. Our new dupe. Daxosaurus. I hope I spelled it right. Now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look as I think it's correct. Bungus to Bungus. Thanks for following. Welcome. This is all credit to Queen Calero, though, because they unlocked the dupe. Or they used the Echo Loyalty points to rename a dupe. And thus, Jaxosaurus was born. All right. Um, it won't empty anything if you do not reconnect the tanks. I mean, that's true. Evil nemesis. Did we reconnect them the right way? Uh... Yeah, they're here. We just don't have power right now. Beautiful. Bungus to Bungus, I just watched your newest vid. Can you explain how the Drekos in the Hydrogerm eat anything? Or do they just die up there while you shear them? That is a starvation ranch um, in the Hydrogen Room. So they do not eat. They are born with enough calories to live long enough to lay an egg and produce those pelts or fibers or whatever you want to call them. And there'll, there'll be there plenty of times. For instance, I think a glossy Draco will live like 30-something cycles. And since they get sheared every three cycles, yeah, it's a lot. All right, so this is good. This is good-ish. Still going to be a month of Sundays for this. Boop, boop, boop. Let's just keep going. Oh, no, 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 no. These are on priority four. Because we're quickly going to run out of oxygen. Um, six. Six.
Calera 81 redeemed an in-game rename. <laughs> I know it's coming. <laughs> Calero doesn't want to see Lego Dom sad. Echo Dupe is now Lego Dom. Gladly. I think I think Echo is over on the other one. Do -do 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 -do! Boom. See if I spelled this correctly. Welcome to the colony, Lego Dome. Bungus the Bungus subscribing at a tier one. Thank you. I appreciate it. Kutai with the follow. Thank you very much. All right, this is working. Still, this has got to come unflooded. This is locked. Once this comes down a lot, we'll have one layer, and then we'll be able to reconnect this pipe. The salt water will go down, preventing off-gassing. Anything left, we'll just crush it with a brick. Um... Oh, oxygen. Oxygen's just about ready. No, no, no. Pip, get out of there. Oh, no, we still got to connect power and things. And automation, as a matter of fact. And the power. How much is this going to take now? Oh, this is going to be close. We're not going to be able to add anything else to that line. Another 240 watts. Uh, what else do we have on that line? All of this. Ugh. What's on this line? Especially when this carbon skimmer starts going. Yep, that's got to change. There we go. This line might brown out occasionally, depending on what we're doing. But it'll be okay. Dave Hammer. Should be a rule if we rename one to Echo, it stays. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's a dupe rename. What is fair is fair. All right, dupes. This colony needs more dupes. Frankie is just coming up to speed now. Oh, we do need more of this stuff here. Where are we going to put it? Right here. And we might as well get the other ones going too. Two more dupes coming. What? Plenty of dirt thanks to the beautiful pips. Is adding bridge fuses smart or echo approved? I am not sure what you mean about bridge fuse. I might have a different name for them. If you could hook me up with the, the explanation. All right, now we just need to get these goodies out of here and rock and roll. Beautiful. Come on. You could no, Max. Where are you going, Max? Gonna lurk for a bit. Got some databasing to do. Good luck. Sonata number eight. Thank you for the lurk. One day you have to jump in the Discord and tell us uh, what kind of database stuff you do. We have plenty of database nerds in our beautiful uh, Discord. Wire bridges take damage first, but the rest of the wires. If you okay, if you add a bridge to the line in any place, it will burn first instead of the line. Now that makes sense. That's echo approved. That's just using the mechanics wisely. That's not exploitive. And that's it. Boom. 
Lock it up. Lock it. Why are we out of power? Stop running out of power. Why? Okay, there's going to be a little bit of carbon dioxide there. We're probably going to break some suits for a minute. Just like that. Because everybody's pretending like they need oxygen or something. No, 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 Pip. Pip, come on. Oh, thank goodness. Did we... Yeah, we maintain hydrogen stability, which is great. Now we just got to get a little bit of the carbon dioxide out. If we ever want to finish the tile. Thank you, Jax. Way to go. And now we should be clean again. Absolutely beautiful. And now we should also be creating more hydrogen, which is great. I gotta get this thing drained. The faster we get this drained. Because that carbon skimmer, that carbon dioxide is starting to become a problem. All right. This is good. Let's actually check. Ew. Ew. I mean, there's hydrogen up here. Ew. How do we get rid? I guess we could put one hole right there so that some stuff could get out. I hate ruining our nice little tile si si situation we have, but we're going to have to do something about it. They still haven't built the brick, the break wall. What break wall? Oh, I consider it a chimney. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay. Goodbye, hydrogen. This is good. Food is going to eventually get built. Um, I don't know why we're so far behind. I don't know what all the dupes are doing. I get it. Rod Roy is going to be spending 40 cycles analyzing this aluminum volcano. Yeah, we're going to have somebody on the wheel for a little bit, but we have five dupes on this colony. I mean, what else are they doing? Oh, no. Who put Jax in a suit? Oh, that's not a good... Not a good call. Jax, you can't go outside for now, okay? You have to stay inside. All right, this is good. Nothing else should be done. Oh, we do need to check the schedules. We want... One of the other dupes. Because um, Jax and whoever comes in after Jax is going to have to be on the same schedule so they, they don't mess up their beds. So we're going to bring Max over here. In fact, yeah, it'll be these three cots on one schedule. And then these three cots on another... Yeah, I have no idea what they're doing all day. Just relaxing, I guess. Like, what was Grignac going to do? I, okay, I guess they're building these things here. That makes sense. Okay, that's excused. That's okay. More tables in the mess hall, please. Oh, thank you, Queen. Uh, yep. And then this box is going to have to go. Boom. Beautiful. Oh, we do have a decorator and some reed fiber now. You know what that means? We'll add more buildings to the queue. Oh, yes. Made out of gold amalgam. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Look at this. Look at this. It's all starting to come together. We could make the mess hall larger, but we don't need to. It's quaint. This way, everybody can talk to each other. Otherwise, it gets very awkward, right? Somebody's sitting way down here, and another dupe sitting way down here. They have to yell. Hey, can you pass the salt? 
Nope, sorry. I'm almost done. Okay, bye. <laughs> Mikiro Lavos. Continuing the gifts up they got from whiskey. Still don't understand why that doesn't give us a nice little chime. I gotta look into that. Thank you, Mikiro. There's no auto sweepers in here to pass the salt. Oh, wait, we got another dupe. Back to Lashiel. Dupe, 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 dupe. Now this thing's in an awkward position, right? We would have much rather have it right here. And you can't deconstruct them once you create them. Unless we melt it. Only has a melting point of 1400 degrees, but tell me this is not a perfect spot for the printing pod. Ugh. Ghost Rider said they have a mod for that. I might have to grab that and move it. All right, okay, we have a rancher builder in Nicola. Building impaired, uncultured iron gut. Not bad. And versus a bottomless stomach. Welcome to the colony, Nicola. Three, two, one. There it is, Dave Hammer. <laughs> oh, what'll it be, Dave? A key. Very nice. Did you mean for it to have two eyes, Dave? Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, then, I, then it should only be one, I believe. We'll pause redemptions on that. It's so great watching people rush to it like, ah! But we do need to get more food. I hate that they're still on pickled meal, but right now, Look, we have more important things. Yes, for those of you who do not know out there in YouTube land, Aki every once in a while stops by and they are the creator of a few of the mods, like the beautiful um, Moore sculptures. These are all metals, so we can't see them. But... Like all these beautiful sculptures. This is actually one of their newer mods. This is more small sculptures. And then they also have more... I can't remember the name of the second one. More... More... More marble sculptures. Thank you, Calero. These guys over here. Which we have two... Mermaids. We don't need two mermaids. Oh, beautiful. All right, this is good. This is still only down to 35 degrees. I'm guessing it's because the steam turbines are just too hot for this area. But that polluted water should be able to drive that down, especially considering we have all the crude oil sitting down here. Well, what's happening is the crude oil is heating up here. You can see that it's coming out at 23 degrees. But by the time it gets over here, it's already at 31. So it hits here by 32. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. It's just gonna take a little bit longer. The Aki Decor Pack. I need to check that one out. Oh, that one adds a few buildings. Aki told me that I would not like it. <laughs> All right, let's just grab some sand. We're doing it. We at least need to see this. See this is okay. We at least need to see that this is successful. Huh? Load them up. All right. Let's follow it. beautiful sand and we will put this on a less aggressive like 35 because that's what the coolant tank is sitting at and then we'll flip it up to 36 
once it goes around a couple times. All right, so far, so far, so good. Looking good. Nothing's broken so far. Where's the rest of the salt or the sand? Why are you not? Disabled by automation grid. Oh, it is an automation wire. What? Well, okay. Because of course there's an automation wire. <laughs> All right. And does it come around? It comes around. We'll wait for that thing to get ch Ginzu'd. Nope. When Bert, while you're here, just deconstruct that. Bert. Beautiful. Yeah, it's going to take a while. My arch nemesis Dex says, that consider the size of the tank versus 10 kilos per pipe segment. Yeah, we're being patient. We're being, we're being patient. Ish. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. And now notice no more sand is allowed to come on until this empties a little bit. So we're going to say 36. And now whenever some sand is below 36, it should spit it out. Man, I love the debris chiller. But we have to turn it off, sadly, because if we just let all that sand go, we'll never get it cooled down. So we're going to have to wait until it gets everything cooled down. Great. Beautiful. And I think that is a good spot. We'll check to make sure this all makes it, but I think that's a good spot to call the stream. It's been a good Wednesday. We had a lot of new faces. That's always good to see. I appreciate the, uh, we had a, a couple of resubs and a couple subs in here, a couple follows. A lot of loyalty points being cashed in. Appreciate all that support. Make sure you're giving some love to the mods before you step out. And as a reminder, we'd love to roll the credits and support the community by hosting folks. Yeah, beautiful. The filter's working as well. For those of you new, since we did have a few new faces, we also will be back here on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. And then Sunday, we're going to be beginning a new uh, variety game. And the sand made it. You gotta love it when a plan comes together. We will say goodbye over our wonderful new planetoid here. Let everybody take a look at the glory while I go look and see who we're going to end up raiding. Who is on tonight? And remember, everybody's got to join the raid, okay? It's embarrassing for streamers when you raid people and only like five people show up, okay? So help me. Who do we have? You know what? I don't think I've raided these folks before. Um, but I have watched plenty of their content. We're going to raid to Legit City, who's playing a little bit of City Skylines right now. Remember when I clicked this little magic raid button? A little thing's going to pop up and say, hey, do you want to join the raid? For some of you, it automatically defaults to it. But uh, yeah, get in there. Get in the raid. Everybody get in the raid. Right now, there's 63 people in the stream and only 46 viewers ready to raid. Explain this new Twitch noob what a raid is. It is when we send everybody in our channel watching it to another channel to hook up another streamer. All right, I'm going to kick these credits 
Thank you all for the wonderful love and support today. I will see you on Saturday. So until next time, I'll talk to you soon.